It's just, it's just a bit more t talking, isn't it? Yeah. Especially here. Right. Okay, let's go. So go live YouTube and Twitch. Got a bit of a sore back. Hopefully that doesn't get any worse. To the basement people, to the basement. Alright, I'm gonna jump onto YouTube, just see how the preview's coming through. I think we're live though. Wow, that was that was quick. That was nice and painless, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, oh. like my back. Oh, that's why my uh, chat's not working, because my phone's connected to the wrong what wiffy. Oh no. He's whiffied it up. Whiffed. Um And the first vehicle we see? An ops vehicle. Sure one. Look at that smooth camera work, ladies and gents. <laughs> I've not been anywhere. What are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I did see some comments. I, I'm sure they were banned, you know, sarcastic, but saying that uh, they missed my camera work. How did it, Oh, yeah. But I, I, I didn't see them comments. <laughs> I hope they got banned, whoever it was. <laughs> I, I, Absolute disgrace. I certainly seen them. Hello, everybody. We're, we're back. Well, I'm back. Martin's still here. I'm here still. <laughs> He's not been anywhere. Nope. Shalom, everyone. How are we all doing? Myself, Andy, and there's Martin to my left. How are we all doing this morning? Who's it, is, <laughs> it is Sunday today, which is our our biggest show of the week. Australian aviator, first man in on Switch TV, like a boss. Hello, Mrs. Allen is like, good morning. Are you out of bed now? Morning, all. We've just missed Liz's departure. I seen it when I went back to the car before. To get the tripod out, Liz, Liz uh, was on board the BA. Uh, oh, A3, was she? A3, whatever it was. So she, oh, right. I thought she'd be on. Is she not on the Iceland Air flight? No, I don't know why she's done why this. She, why is she she's not flown down to London Heathrow to then get a BA flight, I think, to, to Iceland? Why? When, when you know, I said this to her. I was like, why did hey, she not you? get on a 757? <laughs> or or uh, even EasyJet fly direct yeah. from Manchester to, to uh, Iceland, so... Well, inbound, uh, Ryanair uh, 737 uh, to court, Ryanair 1862. Carrick. That's a nice short flight, isn't it? Yeah, Ooh. it's uh, a flight of only uh, 283 miles. So it left 50 minutes ago. So uh, not a massively long flight. It's evening time here in India, says Summit. Oh, yeah. Welcome to you, dude. Evening entertainment for you. Morning, Phil, and uh, Plane 10 United, hello. Tracy, good morning to you. Yeah, Jen says she's probably flying out with a boyfriend from Heathrow, isn't she? That's probably why. Yeah, that, that, that is why, but, you know, like you said, you could have got a 757 if you, if you planned it right. Yeah, I do as well, Kevin. I think Andy has made an alt account. Right, I've, I've <laughs> cracked it. Me and you have cracked it, right? Oh, I reckon Andy's made an alt account. <laughs> to comment negatively on my camera work <laughs> in the chat <laughs> so that when he comes back everyone's hyped that's what i think yeah a bit i'm of not life. speaking to him i've got a long wire here guys i'm going to stand the other end of the bench oh here we go and uh enjoy it a, guys. Bit, of, a bit of distancing on the bench shall we <laughs> say just those two take up the whole block yeah how's everyone hey, doing it's great to see you mate hope you're doing well sunshine you're on a little bit earlier, we are today. We are. Yeah, you're, there's something on yours that is not online. On my what? On your camera. Oh, my what? For exposure. I need to check. Oh, we really? need to cross check the settings, yeah. yeah. It might be the. Are you bumping up? No, you're on zero, yeah. aren't you? It's on multi as well. So yeah, I was on multi as well. Huh. Very strange. Yeah, I did, I did see it. It was very strange when you were using it. It was like underexposed but like maybe it was exposing to the sky that's what yeah the sky was quite broken though wasn't it, it wasn't like yeah it was i suppose yeah but ladies and gents welcome to your sunday morning show here on uh, airliners live hope you're doing well guys great to see you those of you who um were at la flights last night i spent quite a bit of time in there with uh, peter and joshua enjoying their content oh yeah very warm welcome over there and uh yeah, hope you had a good show, guys. I uh, I stuck around for a while, and then um, they they run on a bit late for me. But, um, yeah, no, they smashed it. Awesome show. Uh, everyone tuning in on Twitch. Um, Arabi Selector, welcome to you. Dutchworks, nice to see you, mate. And uh, Huge Man, welcome to you as well. 
Speaking of man, we got an Isle of Man flight coming in. Oh, wow. You see what I did there? Lovely. Quality. Uh, our Logan uh, ATR 72. They always fly the 72s in now. I remember when, about well, a year ago, they used to fly the 42 quite often. The cute little uh, prop plane. I suppose that have. shows uh, an increase in passenger numbers, I guess. Mm. A very good sign. Indeed. Which is good. Um, but yeah, there it is. ATR inbound uh, left only about half an hour ago, so quite a short flight. Unholy Moondog, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. But yes, it's uh, quite a nice morning here at Airliners Live today. <laughs> at the Airliners Live studios yep. <laughs> here on the block. <laughs> oh, one six one. <laughs> yeah, it's not too cold today. I've only got one coat on today, so that's a. Uh, well, I. Um, was running a little bit late this morning and kind of flew out the house in a bit of a mad dash. Yeah. And I've actually left my jumper at home. So it's not as bad as it sounds because I've got a t-shirt and uh, a thermal kind of thin jumper on. Right. And then my coat. So right. I'm, it's kind of like a little bit of a test. But worst case scenario, we can always zip to the runway visitor park aviation society shop and get one of their fleeces <laughs> oh yeah which might give me an excuse to grab one because i've been wanting one for a while and every time we're in there you go oh, i want one of them every yeah. time so i think i might grab one of them sure i feel all right though so i might well i want to get one but maybe not today um rob thank you very much uh, r2b2nz thank you very much for your twitch prime sub putting us to 170 only 30 subs away from 200 guys in the time. thank you so much Will we hit it today? That's the question. I mean, it's not too cold today, but I feel like a few hours of, of standing here yeah. might uh, work away at us. Uh, you got a wave from the captain there. You got some Digi on yours. Some what? Digi Z. Uh, yeah, I do actually. Okay, cool. Bit of uh, that, you know. Bit of this, bit of that. Bit of that. Oh, look who's in the chat. Cassie is in the chat. Oh, my good friend. She uh, recently received her Queen of the Skies hoodie. She's oh, telling right. me about. She yeah, she, yeah. So she loves it. Nice. Cassie, awesome. get a photo over to us. That engine is loud. Yeah, it is. The ATRs uh, a great sound. Yeah. Awesome sound. Or as Peter Hampton likes to call them, annoying mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's something he wants us to... Uh, to keep reminding him of, well, there you go. Uh, uh, Reykjavik inbounds 757 next to land. Usually we don't catch this on the show. Ellie, hello to you. Good morning to you, I guess, maybe I could say. Rostock, hello, welcome. Oh, almost fell off the block. That doesn't. That wouldn't be a good start no. to the day, you would got it? some new trainees. I have, and they're already destroyed because of this place. Went to Sports Direct <laughs> before I went on my trip. Oh, yeah. I needed a suitcase. Uh, Sports Direct is quite good for stuff like that, actually. Suitcases, and it's actually really cheap in there. Really, actual yeah. decent brands for like decent price. And I almost spent a fortune. I was looking at all like the track suits and all the ones with many pockets in them. I'm quite a sucker for trainers. Yeah, this yeah. is out. But I'm also quite particular about the ones I get as well. Oh yeah. Um, speaking of, yeah, Iceland there before. And the like this. But uh, yeah, I must admit, guys, I have succumbed to. Um, some peer pressure from Mrs. Airliners Live, mm. and I've bought myself some um, sketches. Oh yeah, is right. So you wearing and them? And they're actually remarkably comfortable. And I and I didn't wear mask. I can see all the support coming in, guys. I'll give you a massive shout out in a second. Thank you very much. But um, yeah, I so I bought a black pair of sketches. Right. And I wore them for work, and I didn't wear them for ages. Right. And I needed a new pair of shoes. Right. And Mrs. Airliners Live went right. We'll go, but just go out. Um, and put the bin out yeah. so I just grabbed the first pair out and it was my sketches and I put them on I walked out to the bin I was walking out to me I was like oh these are comfy these <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, so I just went on Amazon last, and ordered did these did you buy them last year the sketches I remember yeah. you, we, you went to Southside once and you were bragging about them yeah they're super comfy guys but I've, I think, I've heard I that think before being saying that sketches are comfortable is only a thing after you're 30 years old <laughs> but uh, there you go 
But ladies and gents, Rob Young, welcome to First Class Ooh. VIP. Thank you very much, Rob, for your First Class support. Cheers, Rob. And Peter Walsh, thank you very much for the £3 super sticker. Hope you're doing well. Good morning, guys. Cheers, dude. Dudes. Cap'n, great to see you in the chat. Good morning to you. Iceland there, 757. Great sound there on the reverses. She slowed down pretty quick as well. We had G Liz departing out of Manchester Airport just before the show. She's flying down to London Heathrow on one of the British Airways shuttle services. Um, and Ooh, she's going off to nice. Iceland, I believe. Nice head on shot, Rolls Royce. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Listen to this, guys. New audio setup, 757 head on. Wow, that's beautiful. One thing I did do, I realised, I took mine on 5500 Kelvin. It gets rid of a lot of all that pink. Ah. And it actually looks quite nice if you want to give it a quick blast, but um, it looks really smart. Maybe, yeah. Doesn't sound like a terrible idea. But that could be why I lose some saturation potentially. Maybe, yeah. It did look or, a bit not saturation, but like perceived yep. saturation, you know what I mean? Uh, James, really, thank you very much for the £2 super chat, mate, bing bong. Cheers, James, wow. Plenty Your noises donations. are drowned out by the engine noise, good. <laughs> That's the idea, good. dude. We, we do not want to be heard over a, a <laughs> 757, and if we are talking over a 757, guys, then we deserve to be drowned out, <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, I kind of prefer, prefer the engines to be loud, you know, I want you guys to feel the same that we're feeling, you know. Yeah, I mean, we just need to work on not talking when planes are going past, I think, yeah, exactly. is, the, uh, is the main feedback from that. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that's in by having a quick look on the ground. We've got the Singapore just on the way down for some reason, he's not showing on radar. Yeah. Um, Jet 2737 to Fjord is uh, on the way. A, a Virgin Atlantic A330 has been pushed back for Bridgetown, so we'll see him very shortly. Um, I think if you've got filters on, I noticed that Singapore didn't have a destination on it. Oh, okay. So I don't know it's what It's filtered that means. for Manchester, though. Yeah. It should show as a departure. Oh, no, it didn't, didn't show anything on, on oh, it. Oh, right. And uh, Manchester to Tenerife Jet 2 is also uh, pinging up as well. So a few movements, guys. Um, having a look down the approach path as well, um, it doesn't look like we've got anything on the approach just yet. However, we do have the A321neo from Turkish, uh, I'd say just over the Pennines, uh, should be in, in about 10, 5, 10 minutes. And before this Singapore departs, ladies and gents, I'd love to say a big thank you to Matt Smith yes. for stepping in while I was away and doing a fantastic job, by the way. Matt, you did a really good job commentary was so good really interesting and it honestly like better job than me to be honest no Matt, and, uh, honestly massive massive shout out for uh, he did three shows in a row guys with us um, and yeah it's, it's awesome it's great to have such a, a quality team behind the channel who can uh, help us out when required so cheers Matt I appreciate it dude yeah if, can we get some uh, airliners live hearts for Matt Smith They're doing yeah. a fantastic job like really keeping the shows going and uh, yeah, keep helping it. me out as well. And he does a lot behind the scenes, of course, as well. A lot in the the community and a lot like of ideas proposed to the channel, things like that. Steve McGuinness, thank you very much for the five pound super chat. Bing bong, starting the show off nice and early with a bit of support, guys. Thanks very much. But here's a Singapore. Enjoy this. Position, but I'll tell you what, you know, what I did see, Go which on. I've not seen before, or if I have, I've not noticed, um, on LA flights, 
right. last night was a uh, Scandinavian A350. Oh, yeah. And that has got to be one of the best looking A350s I think I've ever seen. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. livery was sharp and it looked absolutely 10 out of 10 on the, uh, on the Scandi. It was awesome. You know who, where I've seen that before? You know that Bjorn pilot? I, okay, I recommend yeah. it on YouTube. He flies for Scandinavian and he flies the A350 as well. Oh, it looks so good, like the silver and then the, the blue as well. Yeah. No, it is Naughty. beautiful. Uh, Fox Arts, good morning to you. Hope you're doing well. Morning, everybody. What's Matt Smith done? He stepped in uh, while I was away and basically co ran the shows with Martin oh. for three shows in a row. What? I've just realised, Amy. Don't come down to the airport. I've left you. I've left your hoodie at home, Amy. Oh no. I'm sorry. I've left. I've left everything in a pile. Oh yeah, together. he hasn't even got a jumper. He's I've not even got a jumper on. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry, Amy. If you're already on your way, um, I've managed to leave that at home. Um, I'll get it posted out for you on Monday, so it'd be with you sort of Tuesday or, or Wednesday. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, Qatar having a right issue with the AFV. Yeah, they certainly are. They've also just cancelled an order for quite a few. Uh, I think it was 21s. 21 Neos, I think um, it was. I don't know if... I, I assume that's in some sort of standoff with Airbus now. Mm, yeah, um, and they actually published a video um, of the yet. damage to the paintwork. Um, it's something that they've not previously made public. Um, so I think it's... Uh, yeah, I think it must be getting to a bit of loggerheads, maybe. Maybe they're not agreeing with each other what the cause is or maybe Airbus aren't being as forthcoming as uh, they should be with regards to resolving it I don't know obviously that's all speculation but um, yeah news in is that Qatar's cancelled an A321 Neo order um, and uh, also publicised footage of the damaged uh, paintwork yeah because the solution I originally heard was because uh, it's it's to do with uh, a combination of the uh, it's called a Faraday cage, basically, that yeah. protects the aircraft from lightning. It's like a, po a copper cage that goes around the aircraft, like basically a mesh that absorbs any uh, lightning strikes. Um, apparently that's reacting to the paintwork badly, because obviously it's made with uh, composite metals, very similar to the, the 787 Dreamliner is, and the Dreamliner doesn't have this problem. So obviously it's not the metals that's causing it, mm. it's the actual cage, the mesh. Um, now, I think the original plan, of well, the original solution that Airbus proposed was to just, uh, maybe they didn't propose this, but it was a proposal at some stage, was to just pay, paint, it paint, it, yeah, paint it more Which regularly. Which isn't really, a, like, if I was an airline owner, I'd be like, guys, I'm not really funny with that. Some bit. You want me to bring my aircraft out of service more often? Yeah, like, they might cover the costs, but it's still like, a big it's inconvenience. It's a massive isn't it? inconvenience, isn't it? Um, no, I think it was Qatar that cancelled the... Oh, Airbus cancelled the order, not Qatar. Why would Airbus cancel the order? I'm not sure if it's... Oh, like, okay, I'd stand corrected then. Is it, though? Yeah, like, my mistake, you know guys. I mean, it would have been, like, a two-way thing, though, right? Like, maybe Qatar demanded a I'm discount sure or something. I'm sure Qatar cancelled it, but yeah. that must be uh, my mistake. Thanks, guys, for correcting me on that. Jet 273 using a lot of runway. You might need to move this uh, phone as well. Maybe if you just move it. Yeah, whatever. That might do. That's what I meant. Where's it off to? Jet 2737 off to Fuerteventura. Ventura. That is Jet 2 Flight 909. So has anyone got any info on why Jet, why Airbus cancelled the order then? Well, because I was under the impression that Qatar cancelled it, so obviously that would make sense, right, with what's going on. But if Airbus cancelled it, I, I'm not really sure why. My, that my, would I mean, my, my assumption would be like it's just a negotiation thing, like you know what I mean? Like maybe Qatar were demanding some kind of reimbursement, and, right, and okay. Airbus didn't want to go ahead. I don't know. Airbus cancelled over Qatar taking them to court. Oh right. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, so that's a valid reason. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah. Interesting. Well, uh, in other news, we have the Virgin Atlantic A330 on the taxi out. He's taking a bit of a wide taxi just around some aircraft there, but he'll be uh, in view any second. We've also got a... Uh, what is this coming in? Looks like it's got a red tail, maybe a 
Turkish maybe? <coughs> right, what's going on? These gloves which were really good are now not working. Right, okay Kevin, I understand. Interesting. Right, understood Kevin. Okay, yeah, I stand corrected guys. And uh, that's why we love the community here on this channel. We can all have discussions and yeah. I've certainly learned something new this morning then. Yeah, so that is interesting. I don't know what the solution will be there though. That sounds like it's a very awkward I mean, from, situation. From my point of view, I can the only thing I can imagine that Qatar would be happy with is is Airbus just doing some sort of reimbursement on on price or, or something along those lines and just fixing the issue. Yeah. And um it's such and an returning awkward. the aircraft completely fixed as, as quick as possible. I think that's the only way that an airline could really accept them, isn't it? It's such an awkward situation, though, because you can completely understand Airbus's point of view. of It's a fault that hasn't occurred for a long time. Maybe they could have done a bit more work into making sure this doesn't happen in the long term from, like, a... A, yeah. uh, a science point of view, I guess, but you know, it, I mean, it's one of the things, like you say, you just don't really know until it happens. Right? Yeah. Ghost status, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime sub, guys. Uh, less than 30 subs away from our goal of 200 on Twitch. Welcome, everyone. Nice. Did we have some ribbons there, ladies and gents? I didn't actually see. Usually, you guys can see a little bit clearer than me because my display is quite small, as you can imagine. We've got a Turkish Airlines A321 Neo. And you can notice the sound of them engines, they're very distinct. Beautiful sound from the Pratt & Whitney's. Mike Flynn, good morning, welcome to the stream, dude. A380 is due in 11.15, roger. Nice. Yeah, we went live a little bit early today, <coughs> just fancied it. And to be honest, I don't see 10 being that bad of a time to go live. Well, no. sure. What's that saying now? The time. Oh. Why is it in green? I don't know. It kind of looks like you're in a call or something. Yeah, yeah. that's what I, I thought <laughs> the first time I saw it. Right. Yeah. But there it is, the Turkish kind of holding for a bit of a photo up by the looks of it. Maybe, yeah. Let's move the camera forward a little bit. Sort of balance out on the tripod. You need a 30 inch monitor. There you go. Love the sound of these engines. Woohoo! There we go. Beautiful. Wave there from the captain. Michael Walker, good uh, morning to you as well, mate. Tuning in from Lincolnshire, hope you're doing well. Nice whistle from the uh, Pratt and Whitney engines on the Turkish. Yeah, I love to hear it. We've got a lot of character, these engines. Great sounds. Keeping the airport noisy for us in these uh, <laughs> modern times that we're starting to, to go through. Yes. Indeed. Next out will be the Bridgetown service uh, VS 77, Virgin 77 flight. Uh, and that'll be an A33300. Um, quite a long flight for that one uh, of over 4,000 miles guys and uh, yeah that's going to be next out uh, aircraft's 9 years old as well so relatively new A330 yep. but it uh, should be a great great noise great departure coming up guys good it's not a 757 Owen how's your trip going I've seen you were uh Abroad, and sorry I missed your message by the way, I was extremely busy and 
I wanted to reply to you with an actual message and not just like a very short answer. But I seen you kind of found the same place I did anyway, so yeah, it wouldn't have made any difference. Yeah, no, I, I won't be allowed to move that one four six, mate. If I hop over the fence and give it a push, I'll probably get arrested. <laughs> but I would. I'd, lo I'd love to move it. Yeah. I'd love to move it. Yeah, yeah as well but as well, it's better than Friday because there was two aircraft there on Friday. And while you're there, chop that post down as well. Yeah. Three thirty rolling. Maybe some ribbons on the wings here if we had them earlier. Oh, here's a sound as well. I'll move the two. I'll move this one down. Sorry, I was just making some tripod adjustments. Those of you who follow us on Instagram or have seen our Facebook story, you will uh, see just how much is on the tripod now. I think <laughs> I think it's more accessories than tripod at the moment. <laughs> it's right. like, a, like a Christmas tree, isn't it? Just loads of things hanging off it. Uh, and Dushworks saying, uh, how's full-time streaming treating you guys? Hope it's going well, says Dushworks. Um, yeah, it's very, very good, mate. It's um, it's doing well. The channel's doing well. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, just from a, a sort of work-life balance point of view, I'd, I'd probably say now that my working schedule is kind of a lot more relaxed, but I also work a lot later. So yeah. sometimes if I get up late, I'll work late, or if we're out streaming, I'll go home and then do a bit of work when I get in, or yeah. like I like I went to um, Harden the other day and was out filming at Harden, which wasn't really on the schedule. Um, so it's just nice just being able to sort of, I'd say, get up and just go where the mood takes you in, in the morning, I guess, is, is, yeah. is uh, yeah, super, super hype for me. We've got quite a bit of prep to do this week as well with the uh, stand that we got coming up soon. I don't, yes. know, I don't know, have you announced all that? We already? have, yeah, at the, uh, the memorabilia fair, ladies and gents, which is coming up on the 5th and 6th of February here at uh, the Runway Visitor Park. Uh, fantastic event put on by the Aviation Society. Airliners Live is going to have a table, so we're going to be exhibiting, guys. Yeah. Uh, advertising the channel. Um, so if you do want to come down, just be aware we're only going to be here on the 5th because obviously we're going to be streaming on the 6th. Um, so if you want to come down on the Saturday, come and meet me and Andy, have a chat. Um, have a look around the memorabilia fair get some fantastic um, products as well yeah there'll be um, loads there then too. come down guys it opens at 10am yep so get yourselves down it's underneath Concord so you get to have a nice close up view of Concord as well uh, it's going to be a really good day we're looking forward to it we're going to have some merch on sale as well guys um, and for anyone who wants clothing merchandise if there's something in particular you would like to buy off us on the day please send us a message just because we will have a selection of clothing but we don't want to not have what you want so if there's something that you go you know what that's exactly what i want send us the color the design and the size and we'll make sure it's ordered in and ready for you to be collected on the day um and tony p gamer thanks for converting your prime sub to a tier one dude appreciate you mate so that's the 5th of february saturday yes and we'll be at the runway visitor park at the, in the concord hangar we'll be set up with a table come and meet us come and hang out with us yeah uh, we'll have actually time to chat unlike when we're streaming which we never do for obvious reasons and uh, yeah hang out with us basically and have a look at the fantastic other stalls that they have available yeah there's going to be some other traders there and um, last year I actually got quite a bit of Concord merchandise which I'm uh, super happy with yep so uh, I bought that off the Heritage Concord guys so uh, not sure if they're here this time um, I hope they are but um yeah, they are uh, on the way. Does the Airliners Live Mankini exist? Yes, there is a one of one, and it's in my cupboard. <laughs> yeah. We're still working out the uh, the Patreon tier for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's bright red. Oscar X-ray, easy, Jeff. 
Yeah, I've not seen this one before. And that's inbound from uh, Geneva again, another uh, Geneva flight. 80-21 on the roll. Ah, yes. The so-called celebrity, which I don't know if she still is. And uh, mod check, mod check. Can we just have a quick audio check, audio balance check? I can see the aircraft sound is peaking ever so slightly on my end. Let me know if that needs to come down or if it's sounding good. Um, Jim Messenger, thank you very much for the two pound super chat. Say morning, all coffee planes and ranked WWS now. Well, we're at over a thousand viewers already, really. WWS ranked. Is that World of Warcraft? It's not, is it? Because what's the S? World of War ships, maybe. Let us know, Jim. So well, let us know what you're up to, son, but thank you very much for the uh, support, I appreciate it. I think it's World of Warships. Is that, th is that a thing? Is it? I don't know. Audio's good. Uh, maybe just bring the aircraft audio down a notch, says Matt Roger Dodger. I will bring it down ever so slightly, guys. Yeah, was it Jim who said it? Jim said World of Warships. There you go. Was I right? I got a thing right. Woo! I'm down with the kids. Next to the lineup is uh, EasyJet to Belfast. Nice. Another Neo. Nice short hop over to Belfast. So we were actually speaking about Ireland uh, the other day because uh, we I, I've mentioned it on stream a few times. I really want to go to Dublin Airport um, and uh, trying to drag Martin along with me. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get, listen, if we have to get on the ferry, we'll get on the ferry. But yeah, <laughs> we are planning. Uh, we are planning that trip at some point in the yep. near future. CJ, thank you very much for the two pound super chat as well. We'll definitely be there on the fifth. Nice one, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, if, if you, a few of you can get down to that because obviously it supports the event, supports the uh, the visitor park and the aviation society. What times are we going to be there? You know? So we have to be set up and ready by nine. Nine a.m. So it's an early start for us, and then the hangar opens at ten. Okay. So ten o'clock, and if it, what time does the event finish? Do you know, is it like five? Yeah, something like that. I'd assume. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. Very early rotation and a very steep climb. Look at that thing go. Yeah, there's not much weight in that, is there? There really isn't. It's a Neo as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, there you go. They've got some power, the Neos, you know? I've seen a few captains talking about them saying they can climb pretty quick. Ghost works with the shots fired on switch. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Yes, the 146 that you see there is with Jota Aviation, one of the uh, ch private charter airlines that operate out of Manchester, usually uh, carrying uh, football uh, clients. Uh, obviously a little quad jet, a little mini A380 you could call it. Pretty powerful, <laughs> them things. They climb pretty fast. Um, and uh, they actually have one here on display, an RJX at the Runway Visitor Park. You can actually go and see it, and you can actually get on board it as well. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's one of the free interactive uh, static aircraft they've got here at the Runway Visitor Park. And sometimes you even see the uh, the volunteer engineer team with the Aviation Society working on it as well, doing a little bit of restoration and things to it. Uh, Brilliant Aviation, thank you very much for your business class VIP subscription, mate. Welcome to you. Brand new VIP in the channel, guys. Let's spam those VIP emotes. Welcome, dude. Thank you very much for your support, mate. Joe will be out of the way about 12-ish, says Matt. Oh, yo, really? Cool. Roger, Roger. That'll be just in time, hopefully, for the uh, A380 departure, which we hope is going to be nice and on time today. <laughs> And they have the RJX here at the Runway Visitor Park, but it's out of view because it's behind the Concorde hangar. But uh, if you're ever down, uh, maybe some people might miss it because of where it is. You just walk to the left of the Concorde hangar and then behind it and you'll see it. Wayne Picton, good morning to you. Um, my Sunday has begun with my favourite show. Nice one, Wayne. Hope you're doing well, yes. mate. Yes. And uh, Jeffin just uh, bringing up here yeah, the uh, Pacific Northwest Airlines with the uh, with the 757 fleet 
that they're uh, bringing into operation, which is pretty cool. Cool. I like that. I got back from a trip the other day, um, completely shattered on Friday. And I said to myself, I said that thing, you know, you've been on a night out and you wake up the next morning and usually the first thing you think is, I'm never drinking alcohol again. Yeah. <laughs> that was my thought. I've never, never gone on a plane again. And then by yesterday, by, uh, yesterday I was uh, talking to you going, so Dublin, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> like last <laughs> half an hour. So yeah. Dublin. <laughs> I quite like the idea of Dublin though, because it's a very short, very cheap, very easy flight. It's a completely different airport, and not covered. Um, it's just a very simple thing. We can just go and do a day or two days yeah. of, show, of live shows. So it's something that's on my radar. I'm not keeping a secret because I usually do keep these secrets, but it's just a little bit of fun, I guess. Paul Davis, good morning. Hope you're doing well, mate. Nice to see you in the chat. Morning, Paul. Morning. Paul uh, chucked in his first mega bong. Yeah, I was about to say that Paul Mega Bong Davies is yeah, called that the one. other day, so he's he's had a, a name upgrade. <laughs> Paul Mega Bong Davies. I love that name. I love that name. Adventures in trees. Yeah, Sunday's uh, probably one of the busier days at Manchester for us. We are looking forward to obviously when Manchester really starts to return to uh, capacity. Yep. Um, we're still feeling a lot of the pinch of COVID here in uh, <laughs> in the Manchester in general. As you can see, I mean, how many Ryanairs have we seen so I far? I know. Not that was something you pointed out on the the Friday show. Is that the the, and I didn't notice while I was here, but after you showed me, yeah, the Ryanairs are really down bad at the minute. Like, I don't know what's I wanted, changed. I, uh, I'd love to know what's going on because, like. Obviously, Ryanair in December were, were booming. And the prices were really cheap as well. You know, like, I, I went to Lanzarote, and it was, like, I think I paid, like, £9 one way and, like, £8 the other way Yeah. for that flight. Like, it was just booming. But now it just seems like it's it's just ghost town. I don't know what's happened with them. I don't know if they just were losing money. Laurie, good morning to you. Hope you are well over there. Hey, Laurie. Hope you're doing well. Nice and early for you, Laurie. Texas time. It's a bit early. What is a six hour difference? So Welcome Max, hope you're doing well. Yeah, nice one James. Just seeing your your message, mate. Hope you're doing well, son. Yeah, it's good to see you actually, mate. I've not uh, not seen you for for a while. Uh hope you're doing well, dude. I've uh, got a new favourite radio station as well. What after um well yeah. I, I might not go into that on the street. <laughs> and it's uh a Texas-based one. All oh, right. Okay. Called uh, Coke FM, and I actually remember it. I, the name is so unique. I remember it from the days when we used to go on um, American Truck Sim. Oh yeah. And we used to listen to it on that as well. And that's I didn't realise at the time until I got back. I was like, oh, that's where I've seen it. I would like to point out, ladies and gents, that somewhere on the internet, and I'm not going to give a roadmap to this. <laughs> oh God, what are you going to say now? But there is footage. <laughs> Of Mr. Brownville <laughs> with a cap on, a vest, <laughs> a bottle of beer, <laughs> and a steering wheel driving American Truck Sim live on stream, ladies and gents, yeah. with some country music in the background. Yeah. Calling you a rubber duck. So if you would like to try and find that footage, I'm not going to give you any hints. <laughs> you, you're going to have to uh, try and find that yourself. But it's like, um, a, like a scavenger hunt, this isn't it? There you go. That that ex I'm just all I'm here is a little announcement to let you know that exists somewhere on the internet, ladies and gents. Wayne Picton, welcome to you, Premium Economy yeah. member, brand new VIP. Welcome, yeah, mate. Thank you very much for your support. Cheers, dude. I will say, country music is is all all about me. That it's was good times. To. That was funny when we were messing around on American trucks and yeah, blasting country music. I was disappointed at how little land there was. It was like they only released, was it like California and uh, Nevada and Utah or something like well, that? Well, I think they... Um, New Mexico, maybe? I can't remember. They've, they've added a bit recently to it. Um, Zach's eager to do it now because Zach has... Uh, he drives a massive truck now. Does he? Yeah. Yo. He, he's HGV. 
driver no way. and uh, it's like he sends me pictures and it's like ice road trucking yeah because he's in uh, sweden yes and it's just all white crazy Ooh, you should do like, a, you should do some you should, we should, should send him a gopro yeah. yeah get some vlogs going zach yo simon McHale, nice to see you mate good morning dude it's great to meet you the other week mate yo simon how's it going dude i know you i uh finally met simon over at jet parks did you i went there with uh matt to get a picture of the etihad f1 special and I'll be honest, I didn't realise it was Simon until um, until we were getting close to the car. Um, otherwise, I would have spent a bit more time talking to you, mate. So apologies about that. I didn't I didn't realise it was you. Um, but yeah, no, it's great great to meet you, dude. Great stuff. Yeah, Jet Parks is uh, quite a cool little spot, isn't it? Uh, I think it's one of them spots that we just need to make the most of it while we can because I'm pretty sure as soon as the airfield gets busy again and they start using that car park, they're not going to want spotters in there. Which is fair enough. It's it's like a it's like a long stay car park, isn't it? But of course, they they yeah. seem so chill about it. Like I thought they'd be a bit strict, but you know, me yeah. being in there and I've, I've I mean, it may be the case that if just a load of people just start bombing down there, then <laughs> you may you may <laughs> maybe we should stop talking about yeah, it. Yeah, maybe we should not. <laughs> yeah, but the south just, side is a good spot as well. You were saying that you were loving your photos from south side recently like didn't yeah you so i've just got a brand new print ladies and gents and they are available on the merch store we've got three new prints available but i must admit probably one of my favorite pictures i've taken um in a while actually was from south side we went with mrs airliners live and i got a picture of the just a standard british airways taking off with the tower in the background and i put these on our facebook story and it's come out really well. I'm really happy with it. Yeah. I might even grab one for myself for my wall because, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and do a bit more of that, actually, guys. But, um, yeah, there are new prints available in the merch store if you do want to go ahead and purchase uh, one of those. And we've just slightly reduced the price as well, guys, yep. last night. Um, so they're available to purchase. Uh, A3 high-quality uh, prints. Yeah, they're really good, uh, good, good items then to get on your office wall. You can pick your favourite airline. You've reached, didn't you add one that was the... Um the Dubai Expo 380 as well or have you not added yep, that one? so the uh, Emirates Expo uh, taken from Jet Parks actually is uh, available to purchase as well yeah I like that one it's a really good angle you can see all like the the, the detail in the plane with all like the reflections and everything it looks yeah. really cool yeah that's come out well as well testament to the, t the Sony really because when I was printing my Canon shots mm. it was hit and miss whether the colours had come out right right yeah 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 but now with the Sony it's just exactly as you see it which is uh, which is awesome Air France hop shuttle service off to Charles de Gaulle. Flying the Embraer today. Little plane. Uh, Crumb over on Twitch. Welcome to you, mate. Nice to see you in the chat. Thanks for all the followers coming through on Twitch TV as well, guys. Appreciate yep. you. Did you read? You read that out? I don't know if you did. Uh, I didn't actually. Sue Lawson, thank you very much for the business class membership for 17 months. Cheers, Ooh. Sue. Appreciate that. Lee Davis, have you not got your new tail badge yet? Wayne Picton. With something I said last night as well, Wayne saying I want a new car sticker. We yes. were we were thinking about this last so night. So did Thingy get back to you? Uh, yeah, he said. Uh, oh, right. He'd rather we didn't. Oh right, okay. <laughs> uh, right, well, in the, in the nicest possible way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that's fair enough. Okay, so we have got um, we've got a new car sticker coming, guys, which is going to be. Uh, more of a generic sticker, I think, because I know a lot of the others. I mean, we had the 747 one, which is 10 out of 10. Um, but I think everyone who wants one of those has probably already got that, right? Or you're like me and you got a new car, so you need a new one. Yes. So um, <laughs> what we're probably going to get, guys, is some logo stickers for those diehard fans who want the logo stickers. The new logo as well. The new logo. And um, we're going to do the Manchester Tower design, um, which is um, we do need to... <laughs> We do need to think of the wording, guys, because what Andy came up with last night would only probably go on Paul Davies' car. I oh, think. yeah. Featuring I, a heart man, basically. Yes, because we were trying to think of the word, and Andy's like, let's just put, like, I love man on there. And I was like, mate, that's probably not going to appeal to everyone in our community. I said, I'm sure there'll be some people that will buy it, but I think we should probably think of something else. 
But um, yeah, so there's, uh, we'll get that design up in the next few days. <laughs> It'll be up and uh, available. If you are interested in an iHeartman one, though, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Paul D, thank you very much for the five pound super chat saying we need mugs in the merch shop, guys. Captain Paul D. That's so funny you should say that. That's funny you should say that because <laughs> last night um, we were getting the designs together for the mugs as well. So mugs will be available as well, guys. We're going to have a logo <laughs> mug. This brand new tower design as well is also going to be on a mug. Yeah. Um, and next design that we're going to work with after that is going to be an A380 design, ladies and gents. So yeah, finally. Let us know uh, your thoughts on that. And Laurie M, thank you very much for your six months of support. Uh, business class saying, love, love, love this channel and community. So happy and proud to be a supporter. Laurie M, absolutely smashing it. Thank you very much. Laurie, it was so good to meet you the other day. It was, I honestly had a blast. I know I didn't have much time with uh, how busy it was, but I'll definitely be back. You know it. Uh, absolutely amazing. And I was a big fan of the food as well. What's that say? Who was that? Yeah, if you want, yeah, go on. And uh, Cleo's dad, tier one membership over on Switch. Thank you very much for your uh, support, dude. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate that. Beefy J, welcome. Um, <laughs> Paul, we would never do such a thing, Paul. I don't know what What's you're talking Paul about. Said? <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh gosh. And uh, big Zav saying uh, thank you guys for giving us Aeromaniacs our weekly fix of planes. Keep up the good work. You're welcome, man. Glad you're enjoying it. We just Laurie M, ladies and gentlemen, can we get some bing bongs in the chat for Laurie M? Who's managed to find a spanner somewhere in the chat? Yeah. Where did you find that, Lauren? <laughs> She's going to ask, what, what do you mean? And then just see it. Tap uh, Express Embraer. I love the Sunday show. Good vibes, aren't they? KLM737 on the roll as well. <laughs> Let's get some bing bongs in the chat, guys. <laughs> Best behaviour, Laurie, with that one. Only 9% on the old battery already. Know, it's cold that. today. Yeah, I don't think it's one of the Sony ones that either, so... Ah, okay, got you. Got you. Um, yeah, it is cold, though. It's not too bad today, but it's, it's you know, you can see your breath type thing, and it's cold enough to to make you want to wrap up, right? Yeah. Mr. Matt Smith, if you have the... Uh, or do you have the screenshot of the commands, Matt? We can sort that out next time. We'll sort it out next time. Carla, good morning to you. Nice to see you in the chat. Ricky Tech Design. Welcome to you, Sunshine. Ricky Tech. The completely true to your name pronunciation. Yeah. What's we got over there? We've got a British Airways A320 on the move. No worries, Laurie. Thanks for uh, your long term support of the channel. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no, it doesn't go unnoticed, right? Like, we, we no. really value And that uh, just goes to show, guys, obviously, it just comes down to. Uh, we we don't sometimes we don't need more moderators but i think it's just a nice way of recognizing yeah uh some community members sometimes i think next out um well not next out but we just see there's some movement around a um virgin atlantic uh, right i'm gonna start again guys <laughs> put your teeth back in all right hold on let me just spin around start again <laughs> right guys on the pushback we have got a uh, Aer Lingus A330 Bridgetown service, uh, so we should be seeing that very shortly as well. Nice. Plenty of 330s these days that we see regularly. Uh, I'm assuming that the 350 before was off to Houston, by the way. I don't actually... We didn't actually see it on radar. It had no destination on radar for some reason. It also took off very quickly. But Jerry saying congrats on Manchester's victory over Chelsea. Is that a football thing, is it, Jerry? <laughs> I, I can only assume... Jonathan Cook, good morning to you, mate. Welcome, dude. It's definitely not an airport thing. <laughs> it's 
crazy because I used to be so into football. Like football was like everything I used to talk about. I look at my memories on social media, like uh, sort of like eight years ago, and it was like every day I was posting about football of some sort. It's crazy. Mm. And now I don't even. I'm sorry if you if if this offends you, but I don't, <laughs> I don't even bat an eyelid at it these days. It's just no. I also admit I've I've never. <laughs> I enjoyed watching the Euros. Yeah, I like that as well. Yeah. I enjoyed watching that. Internationals are cool. I do, yeah, I do like internationals because you can kind of get behind your country then, can't yeah, you? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, it's football is just... It's yeah, coming up. I don't know. I've, I've just never really... And I understand why people like football, but for me, I've just never really got the hype of... Sort of watching sports in general, really, um, is, is a weird one for me. Oh, what up? I'm going to post this. Captain Paul D, ladies and gentlemen, has just joined Jump Seat. Whoa! Whoa, that is a huge VIP Captain Paul D Jump Seat wow, membership. Huge. Massive. Thank you very much, mate. Welcome, dude. And uh, David WM with another massive support going in for business class, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the brand new VIPs, ladies and gents. Cheers for all the follows coming through on Twitch as well. Jump Seat, that's massive. Yeah, so I must admit, I. I do enjoy um, American football, but I find <laughs> um, watching American football on TV is is ho a horrible experience because it's just adverts after adverts after adverts uh. constantly. Um, so it's not fun. But I do. I did go and see the um, the Patriots at Wembley uh, with a friend of mine. Did you? And, what the heck? Uh, that was that was something else. Man, I bet you they crazy. could. They'd be amazing live. Them yeah. them games. That's what I think. I love. Uh, I love my football. And recently, me and Mrs. Airline has live actually got into going and watching the hockey as well, Ooh. which uh, is really good fun at Manchester if you've not been like going ice, and watching the hockey. hockey. It? Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. Um, can, can I ask a question? Why is it called football? Someone explain that to me. Oh, it's a ball you hit with your foot, isn't it? Well, that's no, sorry, the, that's the British soccer. But in America, why is it called football? Oh right, okay, yeah. I get and you. when it's clearly you're not even using your feet. Like Kevin Callahan, thanks very much for the five euro super chat. Bing bong says, uh, "Let me hear you say Manchester in the house, boys." There you go. There you go. You I missed one. You missed one. That one. You missed one. Oh, I forgot about the oh, commentary. Oh, there he is. Hello. I completely forgot about. It. You you missed so, this. <laughs> Mr. Hingle McHingle, buddy. With uh, fifteen months of premium, only premium economy. So oh, how are you? Sorry, yeah, I, I'm a letdown, aren't I? <laughs> And uh, Mr. Owen Flemmer with the five months of business. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's, he's out doing me, isn't he? He is. He's just coming in out flexing you straight away. Speaking of flex, we got a Dreamliner on approach. And uh, getting some love for the hockey from Alex Smith in the chat. I I, I still need to go to that. Now now we've got a bit of fun, a bit, a bit of like flexible time. Yeah, me and you and Jen and uh, Charles. Yeah, we yeah. definitely want to go because we used to love going to the hockey. Me and Jen. Yeah. But um, I took my sister to the hockey at one point. Right. She was dead excited. Um, what have we got here? Is this a Dreamliner? Yes, Dreamliner. I said this. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, mate. You were, you were explaining you're not many listen, You're not listening to me. Yeah, you don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> got this headphone split for a reason. Right. There we go. Etihad 787 Dreamliner. Just touching down here at Manchester from Abu Dhabi. I play cricket, but it's boring to watch. There's Beef J. Cricket, I would say, is boring to watch, but the T20. Isn't okay. Is it T20? I don't Is know. Is that what it's called? Because you got to with a with a twenty. I think it's just limited to twenty overs, right? Uh. So, as a batsman, you've got to you just got to whack it and try and get as many points as you can. Yeah, it might have a head on here. So it basically, um, yeah, we are. As um, in the T2020, you, you basically got to get as many runs as you can in a really short space of time. So there's none of this just tappy tap. Yeah. They're just whacking it, and it's really good. Ah, well, the more you there know. There we go. Listen to this. Head on. Maybe record this. This isn't happening very often. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful.
What an absolutely 10 out of 10 view that was. A head-on shot with the Etihad Dreamliner. Followed by a wave from the captain. Yes. I missed a uh, Mega Bong Davies going in with a 12 months of VIP support. But he hey. said, guys, I've been around for a lot longer than that. We know. We know. We know. He's been supporting us on, I think, every single platform we've ever been on. So thank you very much, mate. Hope Little you're doing well. But yeah, so I took my sister to the hockey. And before we went, I hope I, got, I, hope I see a fight. I hope they fight. <laughs> right. Right. So I was like, no, Abby, every time I've been, they've... Uh, there's been a fight at least once. Really? So she's like, yeah, yeah, it's, oh, it's going to be cool. Yeah, see him fighting. She's there, right? <laughs> and they start fighting. And these guys, they were like two biggest guys going, and they weren't falling over. Right. And you know in hockey, when they fall, one of them falls over, that's it, the referees stop it. Right. But these two guys were going bang, bang, and just one at a time punching each other. She's like, is no one going to stop him? They're going to kill each other. <laughs> Getting concerned about it. And she went from really wanting to see a fight to like nearly running on and stopping him herself. <laughs> She's like, no one's stopping him. They're going to kill each other. I didn't know there were so many fights in hockey. Oh, mate, every time. Right. Every time there's a fight. Why? Like, what? It's just part of the thing because it's quite a rough sport, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm pretty sure, and I'm, I'm sure someone who knows a bit more about hockey than me, there's probably a tactical element to it as well. Right. Because they, they get sent off the pitch for a period of time. Right, okay. So I reckon there's some sort of tactics where one person is assigned to fight someone if they're a really good player and it gets them off the pitch. Right. Awkward time to do a battery swap, so I think we'll get this 380 in. How, how many percents have we got? Two. <laughs> Two we'll, we'll be all right. So if the screen goes off, ladies and gents, which I don't think it will till it gets to the end of the runway, we will. Uh, you'll you'll know why. But here we go. The Emirates A380 is about to land. Okay. He'll have, he'll have enough till till this gets gets down. That's worrying. Stand by. I will prep a battery. It's good. Is this a Sony one? Yes. Yeah, we're good. I bought two more Sony batteries. They are not cheap, ladies and gents. <laughs> no, they're not. 50 quid each, these batteries got. Yeah, they're not big batteries either. They're just... No, uh, they're just normal-sized batteries. 100 yeah. quid for two batteries. That's what happens when you buy Sony. <laughs> Tony P Gamer, I'll give you a shout-out in a few seconds, mate. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Don't do anything. No, we're good. I wait until it vacates and then we'll swap the battery in and catch it coming back. King of the skies here at Manchester Airport. The Emirates A380 never gets old seeing this. This beast. Imagine Jim saying, imagine going to watch a fight and an ice hockey breaks out. Ice hockey match breaks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like uh, wrestling or something. <laughs> Ricky Tech Design, thank you very much for the five pound super chat, mate. Bing Bong saying, awesome dream line shot, brilliant. And Tony P Gamer going in with a five gifty bomb over on Twitch as well. Thank you very much, Tony. You're a legend. Regular gifter on uh, Twitch. You. You're going to catch up to uh, Mr. Aiden Thomas soon, guys. And really? we're very close to the 200 mark on Twitch as well. Are we close? We're not far away. Right, what I'm going to do, ladies and gents, I'm going to swap the batteries now. Then we'll catch the A380 coming back. Extremely close, as you all know, here at the Runway Visitors Park. Probably the best view you'll get of a 380 in the world, personally. Maybe get a pilot wave as well. We shall yeah. see. Let's swap it now, guys. BRB, we will be with you in a second. Stand by. I'll do it. I'll just do this. I'll let go on, Brown Bill. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, you've had a bit of practice, right? Yeah, it, it, it didn't help. There we go. Ah, gloves. Gloves do not work, okay. He's blaming the For, gloves. Uh, He's blaming the gloves, guys. I think I was quicker on the Friday it's show. The, it's the thumb. It's too slippy. He's blaming his thumbs now. <laughs> See, if I had better thumbs, 
Yeah, if I had better thumbs. If I had better tools. She's so to rebalance this as well. Yep. 11 and a half seconds. Well, I did it in nine, guys. So for those of oh, you nice. on Friday, you were saying that my battery swap, uh, swap was slow. I expect a full written apology to contact <laughs> at airlineslive.com by the end of the stream. There was no smoke coming out of the camera this time. Oh, my oh gosh. gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, jeez. Captain Paul D with a mega bong, bong, bong in the YouTube chat. He was that impressed with the battery swap. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he said, you're probably going to need another battery after you drop that one on the floor. He said, <laughs> like a 50 Get quid, a new there you Sony go. battery on me, says Captain Paul D. Thank you very much, dude. We have already purchased two new ones. Uh, we were complaining about the price, but don't worry, guys. We have actually bought them. We know <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not that tight. But thank you very much, Paul, for uh, covering the cost of that, mate. Cheers, Paul. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's huge. The first mega bong of today's Sunday show. Make sure you get those mega bong emotes in the chat, guys. For Captain Paul D. Appreciate you, mate. Huge support. Love it. Appreciate nice to see you, Rich. Get that digi, digi zoom. Yeah, bit of digi, bit of digi. Sadly, no wave from the captain today, but look at this. Get a bit of an undercarriage shot, Brownville. Oh, yeah. Look One at this, the ladies and gents. Look at all them wheels. I do love the 380 and like we said we want to get some merch going of the 380 because we're so hyped every time we see it it's the real the real deal when it comes to our shows so for those of you who've seen um the 747 design that we did i don't want to do the same as that with an a380 because i think it's just a very similar design like but the typography design i'd like some sort of head-on design of an a380 somehow and i'm not quite sure how how to do that yeah. um, but we are working on it we are trying to come up with a, an idea for the 380 we'll come up with something we've got a very good designer we work with as well who we will uh, I'm sure will come up with some goods how many mil is on the zoom so we've got 600 mil on the optical um, with a and crop then, as well crop sensor it's got and it's a crop sensor at 1.4 so that's probably about 800 yep and then um, and then we've got digital zoom which two times basically it's just basically doubles that so yeah so it's something like i guess 1600 mil if you want to count that but so it's a it's a 4k sensor and we only stream at 1080p so we can crop in to two times and yeah. it doesn't really affect quality too bad quick maths i know we really are pulling out the quick maths here aren't we david king saying brilliant picture guys that's it mate we pride ourselves on our quality here at airliners live and uh that goes for both picture and audio quality, guys. Yeah, and you're never going to need more zoom than what we've got, especially for aviation. No. I mean, to be honest, even when you when you zoom past anything like that, you, you're going to start bringing in camera shake. Um, the atmosphere starts to be a bit of an issue in terms of sharpness, and um, obviously you're losing quality for the, um, for the cropping as well. There's just no need. There's no need. I'm very happy with the, the camera we're using right now. Like, very, very happy. That's um, Air Lingus is... Where is it? What's going on with that? That was a while ago that started picking. Yeah, it's on the way out now. So it's just going past the tower. So we'll see that in a second or two. Yes. Probably going a long way around to avoid the 380. Philip Whitehead, hello. And Mr. Paul Davies with just a little bong today. Hey, never say sorry, mate. Just a little bong. <laughs> no worries, sunshine. <laughs> Yeah, I never, never have to say sorry for that. No. Awesome, dude. Thanks very much for the support, mate. The only thing that would make this feed 100% is ATC. I know, man. I, I <laughs> we really get that comment every stream, don't it, we? <laughs> this, this really winds me up. I really wish I could have ATC for you guys, but we're just not allowed in the UK. We're, yeah. we're, it's against the law, Two mate. things are certain. That comment and... When's the A380 in? Yeah. Is the A380 in today? 
but uh, yeah, no, the the eight, I think it was just genuine feedback. I think I think yeah, the ATC for us it would be massive, but it's just not worth the risk, guys. I'm afraid. That's I mean, it. the problem is I think 90% and I said this before, 90% of the people in the chat would just enjoy it, but yep. there would be a very small percentage of people who go, "All right, that shit, I'm gonna report these guys now." Yeah, yeah, there are streamers who do stream ATC and they get away with it. Yeah, and I'm sure. It's not really hurting anyone, is it? Like you know, no, but it's not. But at the same time, we've got to respect the airport. We've got to respect the people in the tower. Um, it's not just a thing where we want it for us and we're going to do it. There's other people involved that that implicates. And like I say, the people in the ATC tower, um, that's their that's their jobs. And and, and I, I just yeah, it's, it's it don't it don't sit comfortable with us guys going against that. But Lindsay Dickinson, thank you very much for upgrading your membership to business class. Thank you very much. Cheers, Lindsay. Make sure you make use of the benefits as well, like the yeah. discounts on merch. No worries, Brad. Yeah, no, it's good feedback, mate. And, and it's feedback that we wish we could um, implicate. Uh, implicate? No. Implement. Implement. But, uh, yeah, we can't. I'm afraid, dude, we, it's, uh, it's Ofcom, I think, that regulate that. Cassie saying great shots. Thank you, Cassie. Appreciate you. And Hugo saying two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. That's quick, quick maths. maths. It is. There you go. Heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I told you my story about that, didn't I? I did a little bit of research into that. Yeah. The guy the guy who made that song. I went, where's he gone? He's just disappeared. Like, he doesn't exist anymore. Like, he doesn't make music anymore. Like, what has happened to him? It's called Big Shack. Big Shack. And, um... Uh, Look at everywhere for him. It's like, is he just just made that one song and he's just got success and just ran off to an island somewhere? But um, the more I looked into it, I found out he has the only social media he has is an Instagram with like ten thousand followers. Like that's not that yeah. huge, uh, and just one post on there as well. I was like, what is this guy doing? We got two Jet Two Seven Five taxing out by the way. Oof, uh, one's a twenty-one. Wait, is it? Wait, have we got two A Three Twenty Ones now? Yeah. Has that happened? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's out for a test flight. <laughs> um, Adam Salmon, thanks for the 179 Super Chat Boom Ball. What's the reg on it? I need to know. Is it Lima Alpha at the end? Where's your female um, presenter today? Mrs. Airlines Live is at home Yep. at the moment. Um, she doesn't usually come to most Sunday shows. It's, it's quite cold, guys. You really have to wrap up. Unless they're thinking of G Liz, who hasn't been on the show for a long time as well. Yeah, she's uh, very busy with, uh, <laughs> with, with uni work, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally uni work. Yeah, definitely not <laughs> travelling the globe. <laughs> um, but Big Shaq isn't Big Shaq. even a person. What? He's a character. Wow. He's just a com he's a comedian basically who just made this Big Shaq character, made one song and then was done with it. And the song got to like UK number one. Like what? It's golf. Uh, Hotel Yankee Lima Alpha. Ooh. It's okay, Connor. It's all right, dude. Here's what it is, man. We got two Jet 2 A321s in existence. and So this is like freshly painted. I'm sure it's painted by airborne colours down at East Mids as well. Ah. So we got a 330 out, followed so by a nice noisy 75. So if that's doing a test flight, it'll be coming back, right? I we'll hope get so. We'll get to see it up close. Like, that'd be really cool, because brand new. Spiffy, good morning to, to you. Tuning in from snowy Chicago. Ooh, Welcome. I bet, nice I bet it gets cold like. up there in Chicago. I bet you it gets very cold. Jane's loving the show in bed with a coffee, she says. Oh, there's two new ones saying that. Lima Alpha and Lima Bravo. And the other one is Lima Foxtrot, isn't it? I think, the original one. So they've got three now. What? No way. John Taylor, Bing Bong, thank you very much for the 449 super chat, guys. Loads of support coming in today. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, RJX is on the move, by the looks of it. Oh, they're getting a, they're gonna get a tug, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, I P hear some PG stream, please. <laughs> Here comes the Aer Lingus 
two plus configuration with 30 business class seats at the front and at the rear, 287 in the combi. Beautiful livery on that 330, the new Aer Lingus colours. One thing I'm going to do, I think, with a spare slot on the Anco on the uh, on the uh, preamp, mm. is potentially have another mic pointing towards the tannoy, mm. so that we can tune into some task commentary at some point as well. Yeah, that sounds good. Because uh, listening back, I think this does sort of drown that out quite a lot. Yeah, there's probably um, even a potential to use the wireless receiver to get direct feed. Whoa. Oof, whoa, that'd be pretty uh, mind blowing. That'd be OP, wouldn't it? Yeah, we still got that wireless mic. We haven't got a use for it at the moment. That would be crazy OP. Yeah, let's have. I don't know. This is an idea. Uh, Ramon Grosso, glad you're enjoying the show, mate. Thank you, dude. Yes, they do have three ex Thomas Cooks. I know one of the pilots who spent a couple of days doing the checks and the initial uh, flight test. Nice one, Mark. Awesome, dude. Yeah, they were, I can't remember if they were operated by Thomas Cook. I think it was like, a, I think Thomas Cook owned them and I think they were Condor or some some weird arrangement like that. But cool. Hope you're enjoying the Sunday stream, ladies and gents. Your local channel here at Manchester, guys. Hope yep. you're enjoying the channel and the stream. If you are new, say hello. Give yourselves a big shout out. The community will give you a massive welcome as well. He's off already. Wow. Hello? I can't even film it because it's uh, the tripod doesn't go that high. But wow. Okay. Man, 757s. They're uh, on another level, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Reminds me of that one when they retired the Tui one, Tui 757, yeah. and we didn't even see it. They just yeeted it off, didn't they? <laughs> wow. Apologies for that, ladies and gents. I was looking at the chat, and then as soon as I seen it in person, it was already up in the air. Uh, John Flying said, just put my TV on movie sound, and the Aer Lingus sounded so cool, my ornaments fell off the shelf. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. No way. <laughs> That's a loud TV you got there, dude. Ted tuning in saying, morning guys, love the Beluga video you put on, uh, great watch and well filmed, thank you, cheers Ted. That got a lot of comments and a lot of engagement that that video. It did, didn't it? So you guys seem to really enjoy it. It was a bit of a uh, bit of a last minute thing for me as it's well. Like, I think it's probably one of the most commented thing we've got, you know, like in terms of videos. Yeah. Oops, I think we've missed a uh, super chat, have we? Uh, Bing Bong says, Matt. Uh, Ryan Spooner, welcome to business class. Thank you very much, Ryan, and thank you, Matt, for uh, pointing out. Uh, sorry we missed you, Ryan. Uh, thank you very much for the support, dude. Cheers, Ryan. Matthew, say morning, guys. This is our new Sunday morning and afternoon watching your channel. Great footage. Manchester Airport is way more entertaining than Birmingham Airport these days. Glad <laughs> you're enjoying the stream, mate. A321 on the shift. Yeah, the new, new to the fleet. Doing well, dude. Nice to see you. It's quite nice to see more A321s. I know we would all prefer 75s, but uh, they're quite cool still. The Beluga crossover was a cool catch. It was. And uh, we're actually, guys. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we say that? What? The Beluga. The Beluga. Oh, idea. The, the the merch idea. Yeah. I mean, if you want, just yeah. Why, why not? It's a silly little. So. You know we got Valentine's Day coming up, ladies and gents. <laughs> We're actually going to get um, some cards and potentially some mugs printed up with a bit of a design surrounding those two belugas kissing that we got. <laughs> so as the belugas crossed over, I put a post up saying, have you ever seen two whales kissing? And uh, yeah, we may turn it into some merch uh, like for it. Valentine's Day. So if, you, if you'd be hyped for that, click yay in the chat. If you'd send your partner, you know, obviously they have to be into aviation. They're not going to understand if they don't, but we will, we will get that design made as well. We, we've kind of got 
we've set aside Monday as our day to get all of this boxed off. So hopefully by the end of the day on Monday we should have some announcements for you. Yeah, that's one of the ideas we've got. Did I call that a 757, did I? I don't think I did. Uh, did you do the first one? Well, the first one was a 757. <laughs> Christine, thank you very much for the £15 super chat. Huge, saying uh, my sanity restored. Because of COVID, I've been stuck in the house for 19 months. You keep me going, says what? Christine. Sorry to hear that, Christine, yeah, and wow. uh, I'm glad we've been able to uh, bring you some entertainment. Yeah, apologies if I get my words mixed up as well. Sometimes I do it as just a slip of the tongue. I don't even notice. And I'll notice it when I watch it back and then be infuriated with myself for not noticing. Sorry for, for the sniffing, guys. A little bit under the weather today. The one that I get the worst is like, I'll sometimes just say like 767 seven randomly by accident. I have no idea where I get it from. Yeah. It know. wasn't a 7.5 the first one either. Both A321s, I think. Oh, is that say. what it, oh, is that what it's, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get you. But yeah, so some Beluga um, Valentine's special merchandise, ladies and gents, may be on the way. And to be honest, I just want to do a, um, a general Beluga t-shirt as well. Um, I want to do some sort of design with uh, surrounding the XL, yeah. which I think is going to be cool. And um, one stupid idea we've had, which we don't think we're going to be able to do, but we were thinking of um, a Beluga XL mug, which is basically going to be like a Sports Direct massive mug. An XL mug. And surrounding around a Beluga XL, you know what I mean? I like the idea of that. So yeah, we've got... Uh, We've got quite a few ideas, and hopefully we're going to sort them all out on Monday, guys. They're becoming quite the the, uh, the, the regulars on the channel, the Beluga. Well, they are, yeah. We're, yeah. we're really enjoying them. You guys seem to enjoy them. They're, they're big, silly, fun creatures, they're Belugas. Jonathan's saying, it's nice to see the Friday and Sunday live streams, but I do like when Airliners Live has a vlog day. Yeah, the vlogs are really popular, aren't they? Yeah, we'll And I'll to. be honest, and I, I'm not... Like, I've actually not put that much effort into them yet. We can do a lot better, I was guys. Gonna say, we, we can definitely perfect them as well. We can definitely yeah. learn and make them more entertaining and get more interesting more angles. angles. Yeah. So I think uh, the next step for the vlogs for us, number one, improve the audio. Yeah. Um, number two, I want to get a second GoPro so we can get some uh, different angles or so that Andy can go off and do one by himself at some point as well. So that's on the cards. <laughs> um, and then me and Andy are hopefully going to work together on... Um, the vlogs so that we can spend a bit more time getting the cinematic shots because I know that's something um, that I try and do while I'm there but it's a, a, quite a big rush Yeah, a um, but they can definitely be improved guys and, and uh, like I say I've not managed to put that much effort into them yet but I'm glad you guys have enjoyed them especially the uh, especially the blue one I really enjoyed uh, filming that one that was, that was quite cool I even got the old GoPro mounted on the windscreen for the drive. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, and for anyone kind of wondering, the GoPro is voice activated. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. So I, about uh, that. I didn't have to mess with it while I was driving or anything like that. I just say, okay, GoPro, start recording. So that's why it has it starts I, recording. I see voice activation. And I thought to myself, I was like, when are you ever going to need that? Yeah. Like, it's so so that's perfect. So before I left the house, I got the GoPro attached to the windscreen. Yeah. Obviously, didn't film my house and where I live. Yeah. And then. Um, then just use voice commands to turn it on at like different points on the motorway where I thought it yeah. might look good on a shot. And yeah, it's pretty chill. Steve S saying the Beluga shirts should be available in 4XL only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Why is the tug reversing? They're obviously moving it somewhere. I don't know if it's going to Well, they're probably going to be taking it into Signature, aren't they? Yeah, that's what I was going to assume. Can't beat some live tugging action. <laughs> Something different, right? Cheers, Morris. Glad you're enjoying the streams, mate. But yeah, I, th I think um, they could be more entertaining, definitely. They're, they're, they're good as they are, the vlogs, but I think we could uh, definitely perfect them and yeah. make them more interesting. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that. And don't forget, when there's two of you guys, it's a lot easier to create a narrative and... yeah. And bounce off each other obviously when you're on your own it's kind of just this is where I am and this is what I'm doing <laughs> um, but we can spend a bit more time cinematic shots um, the shots like I've not done them yet and I'll be honest it's because I couldn't be bothered walking the same bit of path twice <laughs> but there is shots that we can do where we'll set the GoPro up on say a fence right. and you'll like walk past it as if you 
as if it's being filmed by someone yeah, else yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's something that I see a lot in vlogs I've, I've been watching quite a few vlogs recently just to try and get some ideas and yeah there's lots of things unfortunately obviously with our um, with our location and, and our content yeah. um, something I would love to do which obviously we would never do yeah. um, would be drone shots um, obviously we would never ever do that um, surrounding the airfield so that's not something I'd be looking at doing but it is something that I'd look at doing um, if we were to do vlogs on any other subject I know we've discussed um, potentially some travel vlogs and stuff like that um, so we'd definitely use a drone for that oh, um, something like Dublin would be really good for a, a yeah. vlog I reckon like the whole trip and just everything yeah so we'll see guys if you guys enjoy them we'll do more you, you clearly do why not eh yeah there's a few ideas I have around Manchester as well, like a vlog here at the RVP, showing everyone around and the things we like to do here, and yeah. you know the, the spots, and also like the south side of the airfield. So you got like south side and Moss Lane, and one of the things I've always wanted to do, and I don't know why I've wanted to do this, but um, there's a lot of wildlife around the airport, especially over south side when you're walking around and. You're seeing all these crazy birds and like loads of rabbits and all, all that sort of stuff. I wanted to do a vlog just basically, yeah, we've got the planes, but like focusing on like all the different wildlife that you can see around the airfield as well. Um, because a lot of the um, the land around the airfield is like nature walks and, and I can't remember the word for it. What's it called? Like the... Uh, it's owned by the uh, National Trust. The National Trust. So it's like National Trust land. So it's really good for wildlife. And so I think that could make like a bit of an interesting side. It's interesting piece. how they have a, a wildlife site just right next to an airport. Yeah, I know it's it's more based towards like, you know, Jonathan Cook saying a day in the life of airliners live vlog uh, would be good. <laughs> That'd be boring. <laughs> That'd be so boring. <laughs> <laughs> that would be ultimately boring. Like uh, how how in depth do you go? Like uh, this is this is. I mean, I suppose it'd be good for one of our sort of big editor days, and w especially like a day like Monday where we're um, a lot of talking about lot, things, yeah, like, like what we're doing. But to be honest, guys, like Andy says, a lot of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes when we're not live is just discussions and yeah, ideas, like and admin and just administrative stuff and f like finance. It's uh, <laughs> like the other day I was in meeting pretty much most of the day with the accountant which isn't going to make a good vlog so exactly but yeah I, 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 I see what you mean I just don't think like you say there's that much that is see interesting see you shipping orders I guess it's kind of interesting yeah. and driving off and then posting them and Molly would like the wildlife vlog airports are quite diverse because they uh, have to be as part of the agreement to build an airport oh, okay Molly there you go then ah anyone seen any Ryanair's recently have they disappeared yeah, what's happening with Ryanair? <laughs> like, we used to get Ryanair's just constantly, and this whole show we've not seen a single one. I do apologise for the slightly quieter traffic levels. You do, I think we've got an aircraft taxiing out at the moment. Yeah, it's a uh, easy jet for bound for Belfast. Again, we've got another Belfast. Anything on on the old approach? Yes. Could this be? Could this be a Ryanair? Nope, no. <laughs> Easy jet from Geneva again. Another G What is going on? These are two routes they're running. I'll tell you what, it's kind of a bit chilly, isn't it? Ready? Okay. Okay, should be uh, should be going back live now. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, well, I don't know what's going on with Ryanair. Like, they are definitely still flying. When I go to book tickets, for example, I see plenty of tickets still available. Yeah. I don't know, are they on, are they on a holiday? <laughs> <laughs> right, we should be back online now, everybody. If, if we are, let us know. Cheers, and Twitch. Yeah, we are back. Thank you, guys. Sorry about that. Hardware just randomly switching itself off. Yeah, Teradek have just been unable to answer why it does that. <laughs> It's a bit irritating to be honest. It just randomly just turns itself off. Not off, but just goes back to it's like it crashes is the only way I can describe it. Yeah, it's doing something silly in it. Phobocop, thank you very much for your uh, prime subscription, mate. Really appreciate that. 167 out of 200 subs. 
so we've just lost some subs and must have expired. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's like Sunday. Yeah. Uniform Zulu on the registration of this EasyJet A320. Hey, got a wave as well. Mark Hazel, welcome to Business Class VIP. Really appreciate that. Cheers, Mark. Thanks so much for the support, Mark. Welcome to the VIP community. Thank you so much. Fogel Shaft, nice to see you as well, Sunshine. Hey, Mr. Plain Mania himself. When are you coming back to Manchester, dude? We miss you. Next to arrivals of Ryanair says Brad. There we go. Hey. If you have noticed a decrease in your quality, ladies and gents, since that stream crash, make sure you click the settings cog and then click uh, advanced and 1080p to fix it, ladies and gents. Yeah. It will definitely be that that is causing the issue. Yeah, people say the quality drops when we do that. It's because YouTube, for some reason, drops the quality on your end for some reason. I don't know why it does that. That is a thing that it does, and we have to deal with it. Uh, David Moore's not at the moment, mate, I'm afraid, on YouTube. They do not give us that functionality, mate. Sorry. Miss you too, but let me think. <laughs> hey, he loved Manchester, uh, TJ. He absolutely loved it. What's not to love, right? <laughs> the next inbound aircraft, as mentioned, is a Ryanair inbound from Milan. Uh, left an hour and 45 minutes ago, and that's uh, Ryanair flight 6825. It's quite and, a short uh, flight, that, isn't it? 725 for... miles. It's quite a short flight, that, for Milan. I, I thought it would have mm. taken longer. But here we go, the, f <laughs> the one time we're going to be happy to see a Ryanair. <laughs> a 12 year old aircraft. They're doing something over there with this aircraft as well. Are they going to move that? Or I don't think they are. Maybe. We're moving the chocks on the uh, on the biz jet there. And Matthew Hayes with a five pound super chat. Thank you very much, Matthew. Or super sticker, whatever you kids want to call it these days. Really appreciate the support, dude. Thank you very much. If you would like to support the channel, just like Matthew, guys, click the dollar symbol, then click super chat. Uh, and if your donation is red, that is a mega bong, ladies and gents, if you want to trigger a mega bong on the channel. But any support is greatly appreciated, ladies and gents. And if you do watch here regularly and you'd like to be a VIP of the channel and get access to all of the emotes, then all you need to do is click the dollar symbol, then click join to become an Airliners Live VIP member. That really does help the channel out a lot. And uh, Chris Nichols, thank you very much for your two months of premium economy. Say morning, gents, from an overcast Blackpool. Good morning to you. From an overcast Manchester. TJ saying, yes, it was an absolute lifetime experience with the VIP and at the airport pub. Yes. Honestly, like, if you're a plane spotter and you've not been to Manchester, that needs to be on your bucket list, I'm afraid. You need to get yourself over here. Yeah. No worries at all, Hugo. I'm sorry to hear that you've had to spend that much fixing your car, dude. Oh no. Man, cars can be a pain. Mm. They really can. We were actually talking about this on the Friday show. Yes, because we saw what you. you um, that we lease. Yeah. Leasing, and this is one of the benefits of leasing is obviously you, you don't have to worry about fixing the thing. Yeah. And Jake Jackson, thank you very much for your £5 super chat bing bong. So, uh, watching guys got the dreaded Lurgs sustain low key one love. Cheers, Jake. Hope you feel better soon, my mate. I must admit, I was feeling a bit under the weather after the um, Friday show. Uh, I felt like I was going to start with a cold, but um, I was sneezing a lot yesterday. Um, but today, I'm I'm fine. So, cheers, JJ, for that one. Yeah, sometimes the weather, and if you don't sleep well as well, if them two combined can make you feel real ill. I've noticed, like just yeah. what I've noticed in life. I used to, um, if it rained a lot, I don't know what caused this. I always used to get like tonsillitis, like ah, right. like guaranteed if it rained loads and I got rained on. That's hard, didn't it? I don't know why I never get that anymore. I do supplement a lot of like vitamins these days. So maybe, I must admit, I've not been helps. taking my vitamins for quite a while. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, I need to get back on that because I was taking them every day. Uh, yeah, I still do to be fair. 
but uh, yeah, I kind of got out of the out of the habit. When you're watching on a Fire Stick, does it automatically give you the best resolution? I don't. I wouldn't say so. Um, just check your your quality settings, mate. Again, there's probably a little um, three dots that yeah. you click to get a menu or a, uh, to see your quality. I think on the Fire Stick, you've got to like interact with a remote, haven't you? So I don't know how yeah. it'd work. I think you just press right on your remote, and then it should show like a menu, and you should be able to select uh, a higher quality and. I'm not 100% sure though. There we go, Ryanair 737. Finally seen a Ryanair today. The complete opposite of what we usually say. <laughs> Crazy how their operations here at Manchester have just gone down so much. I don't know what is happening. Mm. Whether demand has just dropped massively, I wouldn't assume so because the restrictions with travel are actually getting easier. Yeah. I know in Europe there are parts of Europe where they're getting a bit more, a bit more strict on things, but no, it's, uh, it seems all right. Steve Lois, hello, good morning. Morning, Steve. Hey, Walker, how are you doing, Sunshine? Yo, what up? Yeah, on the subject of sleep, I think sleep is by far one of the most important things for physical and mental health. Yeah, tell me about it. Like, I, I find my mental health suffers if I have a long period of, say, a week or three or four days of just bad interrupted sleep. Yeah. You're just not motivated, you, you feel down in the dumps and you just don't. There's no lot of sort of drive to do anything. Yeah, I get that, yeah. And Love then obviously you, you then automatically go, oh, well, I'm going to just lie around, and then that makes you feel even worse. <laughs> yeah. Like, sleep is so, so important. Yeah, I get ill when I don't sleep well for a while as well, oh, yeah. just yeah. naturally. Yeah, and that's why, like, I, Mrs. Airlines Live is, is kind of lets me, when I get in, just have, usually I usually have an hour or an hour and a half when I get in, just on the sofa, just a quick sleep. Yeah, it and, helps uh, a lot. That, it does it? help. You, you wake up feeling fresh and sort of ready to crack on. It really does help. Yeah, that's one thing. And the worst thing you can do as well, like, obviously the attitude has changed these days a lot with everything that's happened. But back in the day when you had, like, a cold or something, you used to just work through it sometimes. Mm. And, like, that's probably the one of the worst things you can do. Not that was, only that was like, the thing with my old job, man. Like, that was one of the things that really wound me up about my old workplace is... There was a culture of, oh, you've only got a cold, get in and, and just yeah. deal with it. Like, I mean, you've only you, got can, a cold. you can work through it, but you can, it doesn't help yourself, does it? Like, It was basically the case that if one person had a cold, yeah. you knew the whole office was going to get it. Yeah. Because they were, it, they were basically made to feel bad for, for not working with it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I find you never recover as well when you like yeah. just force yourself to go in and you're working hard and I think when you when you got a cold and you have like two days just rest, you just feel so much better a lot quicker. There you go. This is another Ryanair, what? Yes. No way. What we got? Uh it's inbound from Berlin. Oh, there we go, TJ. An is, that, half flight. is that you, TJ? <laughs> a lot newer, this one. It's three years old. You see the LED lights on it. I was just going to say, I think you probably see LEDs on this one. Yeah. Ryanair flight 1144. But if you are enjoying the channel, guys, clicking like is a great way of supporting us for free. If everyone can just click the thumbs up under the stream, that'll give YouTube the shout out to start sharing our stream on everyone's home pages. I always uh, forget to sell out on, on stream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like sell out with uh, likes or yeah. donations. Like you do, I, you do need to click like because it really does help. It it's really does. Yeah, I think uh, the guys at LA Flights do a, a little mini game where they say let's hit a thousand likes in 30 minutes <laughs> and they always seem to do it i think with us a thousand likes is a lot harder to hit i'm not sure why because we have similar amounts of viewers in that time maybe we're just not but um, we're not forcing people to do it as much we're not yeah we're not encouraging should i say all right guys permanent battery swap until we hit a thousand likes <laughs>
Yeah, exactly, Paul. Uh, Paul Rogers tuning in from Perth, Australia. Lovely 39 degrees Celsius. Gosh. Oh, that sounds lovely. That's too hot for me. That is too hot, but I'd say 27, 28 uh, is around where I'm at me top. Just the sun, man. Having the sun. You know what Jen reminded me of, though? What? Is that last year when we had all that sun and we were in work full time, yeah. and obviously in our old workplace it was a venue, so I didn't really get to see any sun whatsoever, and there's no windows in the office or anything like yeah. that. She's like, this year, you can just take your laptop out, do your editing outside. Yes. Like, me and you can have, like, a garden day at mine, <laughs> chilling, yeah. little yeah, barbecue, yeah. doing the editing. What we need to get is them vibes just, like, over the lap laptop, and they'll like, yeah, 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 see yeah. them in the sunlight. Yeah. So I'm super hyped for summer this year. And also, obviously, we can be out at the airport doing loads. Like, obviously, you do need to be careful with regards to streaming in like really, really hot heat. You don't know, want to be standing out for hours and hours and hours. I, I've, I've been burned by that many times. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I just have a bad habit of just going. Hey, I'll just let the sun catch me and you know enjoy it. And then Jason yeah. Quinn saying, "What discounts do you get for becoming a premium member?" So there's no um, discounts for being a premium economy member. Uh, that's our lowest tier of membership. Um, and that gets you access to all of the emotes um, and access to the VIP lounge. If you want to get discounts on things like merchandise, then you need to be business class or above, guys. Yep. If you press the dollar symbol, then press join, um, and it, it'll actually show you all the different tiers, and you can expand on them, and it shows you all the benefits you get on every different tier. Oh, there we go. Hit a thousand likes. That was a straightforward, wasn't it? Wait, you only have to ask. Cheers, guys. Thank you. If you don't buy a ticket, you won't win the raffle. Yes. <laughs> Laurie M with Yo. the $25 boom bong saying, everyone, please smash that like button and show some support and love. Thank you very much, Laurie. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Laurie. Really, yeah. That's really, uh, really generous, guys. And Tony Parkinson with a five pound super chat saying, send someone for chips when it's quiet. Says so Tony. Thank you, Tony, mate. Appreciate you, dude. One of us might have to go. Yeah. <laughs> It's very quiet here. I don't know, like it just. I mean, there's people here, but it's not like booming today. I also admit, with the chip situation, I enjoy looking forward to going and having the chips at the cafe after the show and like sitting back and relaxing. Yeah. I think if you were, if we were to go and get chips and eat them up here, it'd be a bit more. Yeah. A bit more rushed. You'll be able to enjoy them, would you? Yeah, it is nice just sitting down after the stream and getting warm as well. But me and Matt actually managed to get chips on Friday. Did you? Yeah, so they were serving chips on Friday for there those that go. we said they weren't. But oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a Friday. Yeah, it's not meant to be on. So we had uh, had a panini and some chips. Treated Matty Smith to his lunch for, for helping us out. Coming to Manchester in late April, which is better, the airport pub or the RVP? Not been to Manchester since I was a kid in the 90s. Um... So, I mean, go both. <laughs> I mean, if you've got to pick one, I'd pick the uh, the RVP just because it's... Uh, it's you've got it. a, lot more, a lot more going on. There's a lot more views of the runway, the cafe, the shop, yeah. everything like that. But obviously, if you want to go for a meal yes. and enjoy the planes, then obviously you're going to go to the pub. They, right? they do some really good food at the airport pub. And obviously drinks as well. If the weather's good, you can just sit in a beer garden and you have this really close-up action, aviation action. Uh, if you've got kids, they've also got a playground as well as here at the RVP. They've got a playground for the kids. But I think if you're just coming for a day out spotting, though, guys, and it's the RVP hands down. Yeah. Because you're just going to get the best view of everything that's going yeah. on. And if the atmosphere, on you've got all the exhibits, you've got Concord. Like, it's, yeah. it's got to be the RVP, guys. And if they're on zero fives, I'd probably swerve the airport pub off, which is the other runway direction, because you don't really see much then. The, they're kind of already up in the air by the time. Yeah. The, because you're right at the end of the runway rather than the start. Um, well, on the, uh, on the yeah. old taxi out, we've got uh, the easy jet that we saw before uh, for Belfast, A320 Neo. Um, yeah. So that's just took the intersection at Mike, I believe. Um, Two-year-old aircraft, so relatively new. But yeah, I'd 100% like do the day in the RVP and then an evening in the airport pub and have a nice big meal there. Big fat dinner. Try the Antonov burger, see if you can stomach it. Turkish Airlines A321 Neos pinging up for Istanbul. We saw that arrive uh, at the beginning of the uh, stream. And cheers Chester, Mike and Loopy for putting the links in the chat. I do, I do notice them. I do appreciate that. Nice one, guys. 
And uh, there's also a Tui Dreamliner pinging up from Montego Bay as well. Uh, it looks like he's just been pushed, actually, so we'll... Uh, We'll see him, and Matt Smith saying uh, the Qatar is also at the uh, top of the ILS as well. So uh, we'll Sick. be seeing the old triple, I believe, if they're operating the triple today. I like how they're operating the triple because you get like a, a variety of three different big, big heavies, don't we? Yes. We get the uh, three AC, the seven eight seven, and the triple. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but pub's closed until Feb mid Feb, guys. Oh, is that okay? So doing renovations at the moment. Okay. Well, he said he was coming in April, so oh, should okay, be reopened. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, good shout though. Yeah, it is. They're doing a big renovation to the uh, the sort of decking area they've got. The kind of like conservatory they they have. I don't know what they're going to do, but I saw someone saying the um, you can't have a pint at the RVP. I think you can. There is, there is. Um, I'm sure they sell beer. They sell alcohol in yeah. the cafe, guys. So you, you can have a, a nice drink, especially in the sun. Tell you what, I'm going to get Mrs. Airline as live in the summer to drive me down. <laughs> I'm going to crack a Westerns. <laughs> that'd be amazing. Now that I'd have to obviously nice, ask permission for that. Nice oh, cold Westerns. I'm sure Rob might let me might let me sneak one in. You know. <laughs> um, Corsa in here from the Netherlands. I'm not 100. Uh, percent I have a bit of a cold. Suggled up in bed, watching your stream on the new TV. Your broadcast is as sharp as a Katana Samurai sword. Well done. Well, well that's there you go. quite nice a compliment. One. Thank you, mate. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, and also, uh, Brian Bruce with the $4.99 Super Chat saying, Good morning from Detroit. Here's all our American viewers waking up now. Welcome. Um, it's 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. That's <laughs> minus 6 degrees Celsius and snowing. Have a great stream. Tell you what, parts of the US do get properly cold, don't they? So you were saying when you was away, it was really nice during the day, but then minus at night, right? Yeah, it, it was, uh, gosh, what was it? It was like, it, I mean, Celsius as well, 26 degrees. And at night as well, minus four. Gosh. God, that's like, that's like the entire spectrum of the British it standard, is, isn't it? standard weathers, you know, like minus obviously heat waves where it gets a little bit warmer. Greetings from Nottingham, loving the stream. Welcome, Steve Chapman. Thanks for all the support today, guys. It really does help the channel out a lot. Thank you, everyone. Jane said, I've had a pint at the RVP. Like, there did you, you buy go. it or did you bring it with you? Looking forward to flying into Manchester from Sydney uh, via Dubai in May, says David. Oh, you might be on a 380 then. Uh, Jet 2757, 33 years young, uh, is now 20 to 25 minutes out. Nice. Cheers, Matt. And the Qatar is inbound as well. Should we call it an A321? Just to, <laughs> just to annoy Paul. <laughs> Minus 37 in Finland two weeks ago, says Whoa, Jerry. That's, what is that temperature? Jerry, you can keep that one up there with you, mate. <laughs> Don't you like just want to experience that, though? Like, you just want to see what that feels like? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to like just dip your toe out of there just for a second like oh, nope not for me <laughs> oh, that sounds like it's going to like freeze you immediately right Kevin D there you oh go. Nice Kevin you, nice how one nice to meet you dude Triple just landed that's awesome how are you doing you alright yeah, that's awesome yeah, so it's pretty thank you very much man I'll check that out appreciate you mate thank you Tom. cheers Kevin nice appreciate Kevin. that Kevin D there Kevin D just popped over, uh, gave us a charity donation for later in the year, guys. Oh, what a legend. Uh, so that would be a prize for the charity. Oof. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, guys. <laughs> we'll get this triple down. This is a massive a, charity wait, donation. He's a, he's a regular mega bonger, isn't he, Kevin D? He is massive. Great to meet him. Massive oh, support. Legend. Guys, this is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Oh, screaming. Then reverses. So just donated, ladies and gents, for the charity show, which will take place in September, later on in the year, guys. Kevin D has just gone into the Aviation Society shop and purchased a Gemini Jets 
A380 Expo model. Ooh, Ladies that's a really and gentlemen, good one. one of 200 scales. Worth £190, ladies and gents. Wow. A huge charity donation um, for Airliners Live, oh. which is going to take place in sat uh, in September, ladies and gents. What a Let's legend. get some bing bongs in the chat for Kevin D putting in that huge charity donation um, wow. early on in the year, ready for September, ladies and gents. Kevin D. You're a legend, man. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. That's huge. Yeah. That is huge. What a really kind thing to do. Like That's awesome. Wow. Very, very thoughtful. Yeah. Kevin D. Guys, that's the first prize which we're going to be able to give away. Keep that safe. On our charity... <laughs> uh, on our charity live stream which takes place in September we we raise thousands for charity on this channel guys yeah and we couldn't do it without your help and Kevin D that is a massive massive yeah. donation to the charity I appreciate Thank you all the, the donations as well uh, and everything you, you do for the channel as well that is that's crazy huge <coughs> what a heart of gold he has Need to be, uh, don't know, I've got some like amazing people in our community we? <laughs> we need to make sure we try and find him yeah, 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 yeah. He obviously understands, but we always feel a bit like, not rude, but it's a little bit awkward when someone talks to us during the stream, because obviously we can't Is hang this around. The headphones on and yeah. you know, like Richard Simmons, welcome to Premium Economy Bing Bong. Cheers, Richard. Oh really, Jeff? That sounds good. That is massive. Kevin yeah. D. What a guy. So kind. Where is he? I want to shake his hand. Where's he gone? Can't see him. He's elusive. He's just dropped that. He's, he's, he's just, just gone disappeared. And and gone, I? Disappeared into the fog. Where is he? Am I blind? I can't see him. No, I can't see him either. What a guy. He might have just Kevin, if you're still here, man, pop over some. Yeah, when we finish the stream as well, which is usually about, probably be done by two today. Yeah, come and grab a coffee, mate, if you're still around. Oh, that'd be great, yeah, honestly, dude. Uh, Benji Botha, thank you very much for the 35 Zar donation, saying, uh, hi from South Africa, the hottest place on Earth today, Oof. with parts hitting 46 degrees oh, C. Dude. I'm near the coast, J-Bay, only 32. Love the stream, Benji. <laughs> that's huge one. 46 degrees Celsius. Oh, that's Are not nice, mad? is it? That That's not nice. That's dangerous. Dreamliner lined up, and I think that's for Montego Bay, right? Yep. Yeah, quite a regular route that two he's flying. Lovely Ooh, smell there, isn't nice it? Nice smell of jet fuel. Bit of a delayed smell, but... We need to find them candles, mate. We do, yeah. Liz found a... Um, that could be one for uh, the old fifth. The old... Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. So, G. Liz apparently got sent a link to an Etsy product, which was a, a candle that smells like jet fuel. So, we, we need to at least order it and try it yeah, out, right? Yeah, I'd but, love that. But... Other than that, we can't find any kind of air fresheners or spray or anything that smells like jet fuel. And I think that would be a great product. aftershave. After oh yeah, could you imagine someone smelling like jet fuel? <laughs> I like the smell of petrol. You know, I think that's a good. I do. I quite like it, especially like a racetrack or something. Yeah. I think this is a question I've asked on stream before, but I'd love to ask it again. Ladies and gents in the chat, what is like your favourite smell? Like, is there a smell that you just love? I'm not talking about aftershaves and perfumes, but I'm more talking just like smells you'd smell generally, um, like petrol or like, um, I don't know. My, one of my favourites is like grass that's just been mown. You know, like freshly yeah. mown grass. It's like a nice summery smell. So there's two for me that come to my brain straight away. One is uh, freshly baked bread at home my mum used to Ooh. make a lot of bread I like that yeah love that smell and secondly it's like when I used to get off the plane abroad 
Ooh, I think I know the where you second go. you used to come out yeah, of yeah, the yeah, door, yeah. you just got this smell of like it's warmth and and, and yeah. plants and that. Yeah, yeah, I know that smell. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's it's the almost sweet, smell. isn't it? It's almost like yeah, a so sweet like, smell. I think it's like when it's hot yeah. and you got a lot of plants and stuff around. Yeah. That's the smell. Honestly, that's the real smell. Like, and when you're there, you're like, can, not, can the locals not smell this? Yeah. But it's obviously you get used to it, right? When you're well, there. Well, that's it. But yeah, when you get off, just get off that plane. That's the smell that I always, that smell. like right now I'm on holiday. You know what I mean? Loopy saying A1 for men. Yes, that's that's the that name would sorted. That would be great. You know if you could get like aftershave, it would just smell like that. A lot of people saying petrol. WD40. Yeah, that's another. Oh, Sharpie mark. Oh, marker pens. <laughs> you got sniffing markers. You used like to it. sniff marker pens at school. <laughs> get a I bit was, dizzy off it. I was one of them. Um, Fresh tarmac, that's an interesting You come on with black marker all over your nose. Like, <laughs> what have you been doing today? Oh, you got a problem there, son. <laughs> yeah, a few people have said fresh tarmac. Literally about like a good portion have said that. Fire lighters. That's quite a nice smell, I guess, yeah. One came to mind then, I completely... Oh, sun cream. That's another nostalgic holiday smell, yeah, isn't it? Sun yeah. cream. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that, like... When you put sun cream on... Think Cooking barbecue, yeah, barbecue. I think just like smell. a roast dinner smell in general as well is, is another <laughs> just food just, in general. Just a good one. Uh, bacon, that's a good one. New car smell, definitely. A oh good yeah, one. I like that. Yeah, like a clean car smell. Yeah. Fresh cake out of the oven, says uh, Harold. That's a good one. Yeah. Have you ever walked past a subway and smelt the smell of subway? I've never really. Do they still do that? that? Yeah, sometimes subways smell really nice when you walk past and it makes you want it and then you get it and you're disappointed. Coffee, yes. Coffee I, I, is, is a nice smell in the morning. Because, um, yeah, I like to I like to buy coffee beans and, and grind the beans up. That's a that's a really nice nice smell. Yeah, so, so I, in, in the past I have put sun cream on just because of the smell, <laughs> I will say. We used to laugh at my nan because, you know, you get like sun cream. Yeah. Whenever my nan goes anywhere, she uses the... There's like an oil instead. There's like a type of sun yeah. protection, which is like an oh, oil. carrot oil, you mean? Oh, and it's sorry. like... It's in a brown bottle. I can't yeah, remember. yeah, yeah. And she put that on. Tanning oil. She's like, there and like... I mean, you say, oh, you getting your chip pan oil back on, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Trying but to sizzle yourself. I was going to say, it doesn't make you just burn to a crisp, like... I don't know, but she, she was never bothered. Earl Grey, Grey tea smells lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it does. That's not something I've tried, you know, Earl Grey. You know, no. It's a very British classic, isn't it? So that's the ground control there, speaking to each of those three. The smell of fresh air after a 12 week ballistic submarine patrol. Are you uh, allowed to say that in this chat? <laughs> <laughs> Is one of you guys from Birmingham? I love the Brummy accent. Um, I don't no. know which one you're talking about. That's the right. Number one is number one, number one, number one. And you're. What? Say so number two then. Number two. There you go. Which oh, one right, are you okay. talking about? I thought you were trying to rhyme or something. I was like, I don't know what you want. I'll start rapping midstream. I know, yeah. Number one or number two. I'm number two, apparently. But yeah, neither of us are from Birmingham. Only oh, food for you, Cupcake. <laughs> 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 uh, we have a laugh on this channel, don't we? But yeah, mowing grass is low key slaps. As I'm, a not, I'm not a fan, you know. You know what? No, I've really. always wanted like a good air freshener that smells like it, and they never do. I usually run when I can smell that because that means bad things are coming. For me. <laughs> right, that means bad things to me to get whipped it's like, out. Where are they? <laughs> Just popping pills. <laughs> Burnt toast. Is that? Are you a fan of that nudge? There is a slightly satisfying smell about toast, like a slightly burnt toast. I must admit. What? Slightly burnt toast with a decent amount of butter on is actually a really nice. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's, a, it's an interesting one. Steam engines, yeah, that's a good shout. That's a good shout. When we were in Wales, me and Jen, there was a um, there was a uh, a steam train uh, stop, I guess you call it, where they used to swap over to go up the mountain. And me and Jen went there a couple of times and stood on the bridge as the steam train goes over. It's really oh, good. Because as it goes on, you just get this big waft of like hot. Did you have a, a Did you have a GoPro on your head as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should we do that angle for the vlog, guys? <laughs> yeah, we'll go. Give us a wave. Yeah, when I used to. Um, when I used to uh, go and watch the touring cars, the smell of petrol. Yeah. It was really strong and that was great. That was really good. Yeah. Uh, I thought of one 
more. Okay. Uh, gunpowder, you know, like fireworks and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice smell, like bonfire. Like a bonfire, smell. Yeah, like yeah, actual. Yeah. yeah, I like a wood fire smell. I'll tell you what, when you shoot a gun, you can, you can smell it. You know, it's, it smells really nice. Yeah, the little gunpowder smell that they have. Sonny, welcome to business class membership, mate. Sonny one forty seven, welcome to you. Let's get some VIP bing bongs in the chat for Sonny, guys. Welcome, Sonny. Okay, now now Steve S is saying worst smell. Well, what is the worst smell? Worst smell. Oh God, this could get pretty ugly, couldn't it? This. Yeah. Iceland at seven five. Or is it an A three twenty one? Here we go. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't think worst smells a good idea when we're uh, no. people are probably on breakfast at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Continent Lizard on Switch, what a username. With a Prime sub, thank you very much, dude. Appreciate you. Well, nail cool. varnish. Now that's a good shout. Con, that's a strong smell nail varnish. Yeah, is it um, ammonia that they put in that, I think? Does that make sense? Is it? So, yeah, or something like that. Is it acetone? Aceton ac uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Whatever it's called. It smells very similar. Dirty cat litter box. Yeah, I think Mrs. Airliners Live would agree with that one as well. We we no longer have a um, an ensuite bathroom anymore because we've just given that to the cats. Is that their bathroom? Is so it? not that we and poo in the bathroom. We, they've got their trays and litter trays There's in there. There's a toilet in there. They could use that. But uh, yeah, so that we don't have that bathroom anymore. <laughs> jo Joseph Young just put ex-wife. <laughs> God, <laughs> what a poor answer. The ex-wife belly button. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, that's enough. That's enough for uh, for that topic. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Big merch order. Big merch order just came for you guys. <laughs> Larry, yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, that was a good memory. I like that one. <laughs> that's pretty wild, wasn't it? I have to say, oh, we didn't announce that. I forgot about that. Oh, there's still two more, then, isn't there? Guys. Um, Jason, thank you very much for your big merch order, mate. Just gone through. Really appreciate that, dude. And Hi. ladies and gents, we forgot to announce we have, well, we had three calendars left. We have reduced the price on them. We now have two left. So if you missed out on a calendar, now is the chance to go and get it at a reduced price. There is only two left, ladies and gents. Yeah, I don't want to upsell it too much because it's there's only two and they'll probably go pretty quick, but... The airline is live. High quality A3 calendars. Yeah. Um, there's only oh. two left in the store. We we dug them out. It's basically the ones that were left, and we found out there was just three left. So we updated that. And there's all brand new prints in the store as well. If you want to take a look at those, definitely recommend the British Airways one. It's come out really well. Yeah. I have to say though, Laurie, uh, other than that experience, like my driving experience over there was actually really good. Like everything was was pretty chill. No issues. No issues. Jet two coming in. Is this what is it? What aircraft is it? That's <laughs> it's not a jet two. It's a Logan Air. It's the one with the plane tail. The plane plane. Bit of a. Hard touch down there on the nose. Fingers are getting a bit cold now. I know. Yeah. Probably wrap this hand up. No, so you need to. Uh, I quite enjoyed just having this in my pocket. You know the the remote. You know I'll do that. I'll do that after this taxi's passed. <laughs> Naked Logan, it really is. We see this quite often. This plane. Hey, Mr. Mania, man. Hope you're doing well. Cheers, Courtney. Glad you enjoy it. One of my best friends has got a uh, interview for uh, uh, Ryanair soon as oh, a right, cabin nice. crew. Um, Turkish A221 Neo on the taxi out. And also for. Oh, we got a wave as well. Yo, wave from the captain. Diego, can he upgraded his membership to business class? Welcome, nice. Diego. Thank you, dude. 
of the Diego. I'm just going to adjust my glove, so just give me a moment, ladies and gents. Yeah, I agree. I think eggs, when you're not eating them, is quite a bad smell. Yeah, not, not the best smell, is it, eggs? How do I get a calendar? You go to shop.airlinerslive.com. Shop.airlinerslive.com. Yeah. There are only two left, ladies and gents. Yeah, they'll go pretty quick, so be quick on that one. They'll be gone by the end of the stream. To the basement people, to the basement. And yeah, we got some, some little bits for Valentine's Day coming out and a whole new range of mugs as well. Yes. So I'm looking forward to those. Yeah, and maybe stickers as well. We'll have all them boxed by uh, Monday. Yeah. Or on Monday, rather. <laughs> Jimbo, we won't be reading that one out. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another order just gone through. There it is. One calendar has sold, guys. That is one calendar sold. There you go, there's one left. <laughs> there's now one left. Probably won't last long, but there you go. Might as well put them up at a reduced price as well. I guess you guys have missed uh, about a month, almost a month now, so, you know. Uh, cheers, James, for that order, mate. Really appreciate you, dude. Jet just touching two. down is the Jet 2, 7.5, and uh, he's inbound from Geneva. What? Everything is uh, Geneva at the minute, What's isn't it? What's going on in Geneva? I didn't even know Jet 2 flew there. And there it is. They are now sold out, ladies and gentlemen. Brian purchasing the last calendar. Do they back order, do they, <laughs> by any chance? They should not. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gents. Cheers for that. James managed to get one, and Brian has just bought the last one, guys. So there you go. Calendars are now sold out. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, I knew, I knew they'd go quick. <laughs> Sorry if anyone... But go buy the BA out print, guys. The BA print, I would definitely recommend if you want to buy something from the shop. Oh. Love that shot. Quality. What an aircraft, the 7.5 is. Lima Sierra Alpha Alpha. Just touching down, we have a uh, British Airways service from London Heathrow operating the shuttle. When are we live again from Amsterdam? I have no idea. We have no plans at the moment. Maybe someday. If I do go back to Amsterdam, I'd love to catch the departures on Polderbahn. To me, that's a little bit more entertaining. But, um, no, uh, we will definitely go back sometime. Using a lot of runway, this BA. Don't think it's going to make the the head-on exit. Or maybe... Oh, okay, never mind. Cruiser's wrong. Yeah. Pulled a lot of brakes there at the end. And there we go. Liz was saying to us that the British Airways shuttle service this morning... Um, was really busy. It actually, oh, right. sent a photo of it. It looked pretty packed, which has not been my experience at all. It's always been pretty empty when I get it. In the last few years, that is. Hey. And Paul's saying a big year for the uh, 75 this year as it turns 40 years old. Wow, really? Whoa. 40. Turkish AT21 Neo now on the roll for Istanbul. <coughs> I 
It's only a one year old, this aircraft. Nice. This is a flight of 1660 miles. Spoiler alert. <laughs> There's a BA taxiing in there to Terminal 1 here at Manchester Airport. Just the two terminals are open. Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. Number 3 has not reopened yet. I don't think it ever has reopened since March 2020. And Dave, uh, thank you very much for your £10 super chat, mate, saying uh, I've not been a member for long but want to support this fantastic channel as much as possible. Thanks for all the hard work um, by everyone at Airliners Life. Thank you very much, Dave. It's very kind of you, mate. Uh, Dave Hustwait, or Hustwait. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the £10 super chat, mate. It helps the channel a lot. It really does. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks for the kind words. Well. And Terry says, have you thought of doing caps with the Airliners Live logo on in the shop? Yes, we have. Um, and that's something which will be coming for the summer. We used to do caps, didn't we, a long time ago? Yeah. There's definitely beanies as well. Yeah, I think we'll uh, do a bulk order of caps. Yeah, it's just getting a good supplier, isn't it, you know? Yeah. Because our supplier is, uh, is good for the quality, but not good for the price. Yeah, and obviously quality is, is the main thing for us. Yeah. Like, I'd rather make less money on a good product than more money on a, you know, not good product. Bob Long, yes, you just pay for your parking, mate, and then you can enjoy a full day out here, dude. So, yep, just come down to the RVP and pay for your parking. Let them know Airliners Live sent you as well. Yeah, because with, like, caps, we wouldn't make anywhere near as much, but not enough money to justify it, because, obviously, not only are we, like, buying them and selling them, but we're having to, like, ship them and just deal with them in general and... Obviously, you have to drive to the post office every time you have to ship one, and it all adds up. If you're doing all that for just like a quid or two, yeah, it's just not worth the time. But so you got packing material and boxes and labels, and it all adds up. But it is what it is. It's, it's one of those, and then obviously on top of that, we've then got VIP discount. I see. So, so it is. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> it is Sigma. Uh, Sigma lens on there. Yeah. Or oh, is it Tamla? That looks like Sigma. Yeah, it might be. Um, but yeah, but also at the same time, I'm also very proud to sell merch with our logo on because yeah. it's like it just lets people rep the merch, right? You know, it's like a good part of the community. It's a good part of being a fan of the channel. So yeah, I'm not too bothered about making good money on it. Like we never did make good money on merch, especially when you consider a lot of the VIPs get discount anyway. And mm -hmm. so yeah, merch is just one of those things that's cool to see. Especially sometimes we come down the RVP and you see someone with like a hat on or yeah. one of our hoodies on and you doesn't go in you can instantly go up and say hello because you know they're a, a channel viewer and yeah it's awesome to see you guys yeah Jota's currently on the pushback for Biggin Hill cheers Matty Smith nice that's Big awesome Hill. so are they, are they collected people from here over 34,000 subscribers on the channel guys I can't wait to hit 40 and then 50k it's yeah. gonna be crazy but we are fast and I mean fast becoming probably the biggest channel um, on uh, Facebook as well, ladies and gents, in terms of followers. Yeah. Um, Airliners Live is very, very near to being one of the biggest on Facebook as well, especially in live aviation, I'd say we're very nearly the biggest. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Debbie from the Aviation Society just uh, giving some information. It's just positioning flight back yep. down to Biggin Hill. Do you think it'll rotate fast? <laughs> How about selling sat caps in the RVP shop? Yeah, we do have some. Well, we had some of our merch in the RVP shop. Yep. I'll be honest, we kind of dropped off a bit with merch a while back and we only started just getting back into it now. So um, we, uh, I'm sure we'll get some more in there. It is cool seeing our items in there. We did have uh, a lot of clothing in there as well. We did, we, for yeah. A while. And Steve saying, uh, with a 
$5 donation saying $5 pounds for suggesting the worst smell chat. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> Appreciate that, mate. Thanks for the support today, guys. You've been uh, fantastic. Easy Jack coming into land according to uh, EDC Metalman. This will be it right here. But yeah. I think caps is a good one. Yeah, I definitely want a cap. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd wear it a lot. <laughs> That's to be embroidered, obviously. Yeah. You know what I would like to get? Go on. Some bing bong boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Let's or mega bong boxer shorts, depending uh, on how you uh, <laughs> how you value <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Come with different sizes, is it? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not get into detail. Question is, who's, who's going to uh, who's going to pose for the merch image on the shop? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm already on there with the hoodies, so I think. Oh, you need is to it my turn? Is it? I think it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, guys, I'm sorry, we couldn't find a supplier for those. <laughs> Alessandro, welcome to Premium Economy. Thank you very much for the support, dude. I don't think Mrs. Airline. Why would Mrs. Airline is live not be impressed with that, Owen? Looks like a special on this. I think it's the holiday special, I think. Ding dong boxes sound better for Africa. <laughs> yes, it is the holiday inbound from Turin. Is this a new livery? Because I'd never seen it before that storm bar a day. And now I see it very often. No one's ever going to order a small Mega Bongardi, says Paul. Yeah, it's not stock that size. Uh, Andrew, if you go to shop.airlinerslive.com, mate, to have a look at our merch store. Like I say, definitely recommend the prints, guys. The new ones that have just come in, um, I'm really happy with them. I ordered some, and uh, yeah, the British Airways one has come out really, really nice. And the hoodies, of course, very good. Kirsty Gleason, um, I think I packed your order uh, yesterday, so that'll be taken to the post office tomorrow. Uh, Royal Mail sorted their stuff out yet? Oh, I've not really had anything else delivered since then. Um, RJX is starting his roll. Nice. A little taster for the A380 we have later on. <laughs> yeah, warm up. Let's have a look, this is going to rotate pretty quick. A bing bong bra for the ladies on Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow, look how fast that rotated. It's like an F15. Straight up, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Where do we get the monthly um, desktop picks from? We need to add that to the site. We do need to add that to the site. Yeah, right, well, oh, yeah, that's no, a list for the I think we should just sort that on Monday, to be honest, because that's. Uh, yeah, Monday is going to be the day. That's kind of a. A bit ridiculous, though. Um, but yeah. What will we you have some hoodies with you on the 5th? We will, Andrew. However, if you've got something particular and a size in particular that you want, please let us know because. Um, because we don't want to not have your size or your colour in stock, mate. So if you're definitely going to come and there's something you definitely want to buy, then we'll order it for you, mate. Yeah, we don't hold stock really of clothing anymore. And the box that we're going to bring with us is uh, evidence as to why. Because we've just got a box in Martin's office that's just full of loads of random sizes that never get sold. Yeah. Because obviously everyone's got their own size and colour preference and design preference, so... It just seems like whenever someone orders one, it's just like, it's never the right one. Whom do I need to email? Um, contact at airlinerslive.com. What's that for? I think it was for the merch. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah contact at airlinerslive.com, yeah. Uh, alternatively, you can message us on Instagram as well. I've noticed there's a couple of email uh, messages on there I need to reply to. But generally, the emails are the, the, the most the best way to get in touch with us. So they usually uh, don't get missed. 
Ryanair in from Rome. There we go. Two Ryanairs in one stream. Wow. Oh, three actually. Yeah, and also sometimes larger sizes might not be on the website. Yeah. So uh, if they're not, you can always message us and we can see if we can accommodate to you. And there's Matt Smith in the chat. Not, the not no www. It's yeah. an email address. Yeah, without the www. Dot, but contact. He's just clocked, it, I think. Yeah. Without uh, uh, sorry, contact airlinerslive. dot com. That's the best way to get in touch with us. We always check emails. You know what I fancy regular. today instead of chips? Go on. Just a nice sausage balm. Did you do that? I think they do. That sounds nice. <laughs> with chips. With chips. <laughs> <laughs> But well, we got into the habit of having like a main and the chips as a side. I know, we, we're kind of flexing a bit, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. It's alright, Matt. Don't worry about it. Is the camera shaking? I think the box is getting a bit of a kick in at the moment. Uh, not it's really. Okay. Not really noticeable. Unless when I zoom right in, you can kind of see, but... It's alright. Do like a nice sausage puff. Yeah, it's uh, not bad. Depends on the quality of the sausages, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Some airliners live shades. Yeah, they'd be cool, wouldn't they, Lee? Oh, they would be. I'd be wearing them all the time. You know, what? I'm like with shades. Yeah. Today's probably the first time I've not been wearing them for a long time. Uh, yeah, Andrew, um, we send the channel a message, please, Andrew, and we can uh, get that sorted for you, mate. I don't want to forget, Andrew. So. Good afternoon, Redtail Ian Finley. How are you doing? Phil, for you, look, we're just talking about sausage bombs. What's wrong with a sausage bomb? What's wrong with the quality of a good sausage? I'll tell you what, though, me and Matt kind of went a bit crazy. I think we we're, were pretty hungry, so. We had a panini each and the chips, and I demolished the whole lot. You can do that, to be fair. The chip, chips aren't that filling, to be fair. That's the thing. I did, I did go a bit crazy on it. Matt left half of his chips. Um, oh, what a lightweight. Because he was dead full, and to be honest, I was full. I just kept eating because <laughs> I'm fat. And that's what I, I can did. never stop eating chips. You know, like if you get like weather spoons or something, you'll be f completely full, but you'll still have some chips left on the table. You'll be munching away at them. Yeah. Uh, nice sausage bar will do, I reckon, today. John Reynolds, nice to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I kind of overfaced myself on chips on Friday. I think. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're not well. Maybe. <laughs> Harvey, thank you very much for the 449 Super Chat. No message, dude. Really appreciate you, mate. Cheers, Harvey. Off we got going on. Uh, got a Ryanair on the way out uh, to London, Derry. Uh, so he's on his taxi out already. I think we'll probably see him. Is that, is that the one that's... Oh, he's, he's taking the, the runway. intersection now. I think we're just a little bit behind on here. Another short flight that is, right? Yeah. Start over to the north coast of Ireland, Londonderry. Derry, Londonderry, as they call it. For quite complicated reasons. <laughs> Let's have a look at the old approach path. Uh, there is one on approach, so the Ryanair's getting a shift on. Uh, so it's got company traffic inbound behind from Rome. Mr. Tiny, probably a little bit behind on the chat. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was going to tell him, and I thought, well, my message of telling he's him is going to be... Gonna, <laughs> he's not going to hear it for about about half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Just with the message in the chat saying, freshly cut grass. <laughs> Cheers, JJ. There we go, one up. we go for one up. Battered jumbo sausage with a tub of curry sauce yes that sounds pretty good I didn't have my chippy actually on Friday we were going to have a chippy but I ate enough in there what did you have? well I didn't get it in the end because obviously I went to the, the cafe didn't I could potentially do chippy tonight what are you zooming in? <laughs> oh G-Dog 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 sorry ladies and gents we haven't seen G G Crow today, have we? No. Oh. G Bark. 
G Bark, there it was. Making an entrance. Was correcting us there, wasn't he? Yeah. It's a cute little dog in it. Yeah. I just remembered about that crazy charity donation. Yeah. Kevin D. Kevin D. Wow. What a guy. We have to remember to go and pick that up. Yeah. That's huge. Thank you again, mate, for that. Donating a, a glorious A380 model for our charity show, which will be taking place in September. Fantastic. G Wolf says, yeah, that's another one. We could be. What about you? Oh, what a cute dog he is. <laughs> Is he a little Jack Russell, is he? Yeah, he's like a, a mix of something, isn't he? Another aircraft on the approach um, is the Pegasus service uh, from Istanbul. And he, uh, he left three hours and 40 minutes ago, and that's a, uh, a flight time. Uh, sorry, three hours, 40 minutes, and that's a, uh, a mileage of just under 1,700 miles on that flight. Three-year-old aircraft. Gives a bit more volume on the old uh, heady phones, that's nice. Yeah, nice. I like it. Pegasus. Can you recommend uh, an 800 auto lens? 800 mil? No. What do you need 800 mil for? <laughs> Just, <laughs> that was a really good timing. <laughs> as soon as someone in the chat said, oh, no. do you recommend an 800 mil lens? You went, what do you need 800 <laughs> mil for? And then you go in that. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, what are the yeah. odds? That's 600, is it? 500, that one. 500. Yeah, it's, it's a good extender. <laughs> Can we show the, can we show the stream? Look at this guys. This is what this is a lens this guy's not messing about. Wow. There you go. The lens or a rocket launcher. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> nice. Love it. That's a flex, ladies and gents. Puts all of the lenses to shame that one. You need to get the biggest lens, don't you? You do. <laughs> Slide that on south side. Yeah, oh, alright, I've got my new big lens. You go down there, someone next to you just always goes, yay! <laughs> G Bark is a uh, not a fan of the Pegasus. It sounds. <laughs> no. It's really like Liz when uh, someone say pooks. <laughs> yeah. G Bark doesn't like delivery. I think he's fed up. Very quiet touchdown though. G Bark really taking the the stage on the sound front. <laughs> It is a Neo, this aircraft, so you can see nice big engines. Down the front centre as well? No. No. I have got only 400, I'm going to get extended, but you lose the aperture, don't Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah, I had the extender when I had the Canon under <laughs> 400 at them. It's not worth it. You, yeah, you're knackered. Mark Taylor saying you should rename it G Lens. <laughs> yeah. It's that big, it has its own call sign. <laughs> but if you are enjoying the show today guys help the channel out for free by clicking the thumbs up button the like button it really does help the channel it tells youtube to distribute the stream to more people guys what a wave there from the first officer and the captain Woo! not messing around Cool as a cucumber. Certainly is. Riding this bird. And the uh, guys on Twitch, thank you very much for tuning in. Can we get a viewer count check on the two channels as well, guys? Yes, please. VIP spamming the old like emotes. 1.3k likes. Keep smashing it, everyone. Says World Ship. Cheers, dude. Yeah, cheers for all the likes. They really do help a, a lot. Yeah, they really do with uh, with the older YouTube. And thank you for the super chats and memberships as well. Two hundred and fifty nine. Uh, 
watching on Twitch. That's massive, guys. That's really big. We need to, when I get home, I need to go through all the VIP applicants, you know, for the VIP lounge. Yes, we do, yeah. There's a bit of a backlog. And uh, 2,321 viewers on YouTube. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, much bigger than Friday, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so for those who don't know, if anyone signed up to become a VIP on Twitch or YouTube today, that gives you access to the VIP Lounge, which is a exclusive group over on Facebook. If you've got a Facebook account, so you can go ahead and get signed up there if you're a VIP on Twitch or YouTube. <laughs> and that's an exclusive group where we have all the Airliners Live team in there and all the other VIPs are in there as well. Lots of extra discussion, photos, videos. Obviously, Martin put an early preview up of the Beluga vlog the other day. We're always putting bits and bobs in there and a little post. It's a very good friendly little community where you can post your own photos and videos and we'll all see them and have a wonderful time Pat's saying it's so odd it's like watching the airplanes with the commentary by the Beatles I won't say about that thank you thank you thank you very much for the 99 cents euro chat appreciate you dude apparently you sound like a Beatle though that's, that's the more baffling thing there you go I don't even think the Beatles sound scouts when I hear them. Mm. Terry Moss, glad you're enjoying the show, mate. And Derek Gray, good afternoon to you. Hey up, Liz, how was the flight down to London? G Liz. Hot tight. G Elizabeth. Who's G Liz? I know, yeah. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> EasyJet A320 here. Just arrived. G Bark, loving it. Whiskey Yankee for the red on this one. Why? Quinn Jones, welcome. And Craig Naylor, hope you're on. I had real cutlery and everything. Oh, very nice. Very posh. Wait, what, Liz had real... It's a 30 minute flight. <laughs> Did he do a meal on that as well? Just lob a, lob a butty at you. <laughs> Have a nice and fork with that. We've got a jet to in back from Grenoble, but he's about 15 minutes out, so it's pretty quiet now, guys, for the next few minutes. Probably a good time for you to grab a brew if you waiting to go and make yourself a cup of tea yeah or oh, now is a very good time to sign up to be a vip you get loads of benefits of being a vip including the tower badge next to your name loads of customer modes uh obviously the tower badge evolves over time depending on how long you've been a vip for you can see loads of different colors in the chat at the moment get you in a vip lounge you can get discounts on merch uh, and lots of extra good things to yes come. So hit the dollar symbol and then press join, or on Twitch you can press subscribe. There you go. Make use of that Amazon Prime sub as well, Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, take some of that rocket money, Twitch guys. Use them primes in the channel. A, cro a, a, a croissant. Nice one, Liz. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Let's be fair, when, when, when we usually fly in it, they usually give you, if you're in uh, cattle class, they'll give you the... Uh, the crisps and the water, the sea salted crisps, mm. which they just seem to have on every single flight, don't they? Because when I flew to Madrid on the 380, they had the exact same setup. When I was flying, I remember them small packets of like the small cracker things, like the small shape, uh, right? Crackery biscuity things, you know, right? What I mean? Them little, yeah, yeah. Don't know what they are. They're like cheesy flavor or whatever. So flying from Heathrow to Iceland tomorrow morning. Nice. You can get some more crisps. <laughs> <laughs> get some sausage rolls. Yeah. Love a Jack Russell. Yeah, he's, he's, he's disappeared now. There he was over there. Gee, he? Bark. He's, he's barked off. <laughs> <laughs> barked up the wrong tree. Now is also a great time to smash that like button as well, ladies and gents. Let's see if we can hit 2K likes on today's show. Got a Ryanair with a beacon on as well, which looks like he'll be out very shortly. Yep. I hope you have a great time in Iceland, though, Liz. Yes. I'm sure it'll be nice and warm up there. 
Excellent. <laughs> Cheers, Derek. Appreciate that. And Michael Fisher, there he is. Business class VIP. Thank you very much, Michael, for supporting the channel. Hope you're well, sunshine. Appreciate the VIP support. I think it might be hood up time for it's me. It's getting cold, isn't it? Like, yeah. I'm just getting really cold all of a sudden. It's that wind. Right. There we are. That's it. We're committed. <laughs> <laughs> My hood doesn't do that. I can't. I kind of can't. Let's see if I can. There we go. Nah, my That's hood, better. My hood's not big enough to go over the headset is the problem, so I'll do that. <laughs> it can go under the headset, so I can probably do that in a bit. Now we're cooking. <laughs> it's like a sleeping bag, that thing, isn't it? Airbus fan, that's going to be your end, mate. Make sure you check your quality settings on YouTube to fix that. I guarantee that's going to be uh, an issue your end, mate. Yeah, dude. That's not good video quality. Andrew uh, Hollingsworth saying, loving the Sunday live once again. Keep up the good shoes. Uh, sh good shows. Cheers, Andrew. And Matt Smith is only seven days away from his red tail badge, he said in the chat. Oh, yeah. About time we got in the club. Look how many red tails are in the chat right now. Yeah. And you're not one of them. What's going on? There's people with gold tails now. Does Lee Davies have his gold yet? I don't think he no, does. No, he doesn't still. It's only one. It's only uh, Wayne who has has the gold. The one and only. Untouchable. <coughs> Yeah, well, uh, yeah, Chris saying quality is great in 1080p. And Chris saying superb quality. Cheers, Chris. Yeah, we do work hard on the channel to bring you the best quality we possibly can do. I'd say we have the best quality in live aviation at the moment. We do. Michael Fish is saying, I'm watching from Arizona, but I'm originally from the Wirral. <laughs> You'll represent. Where, where in the Wirral are you from? And just pinging up on the ground is the... Air Lingus A321, and uh, that's going to be on its way to New York. So we'll see that taxiing out shortly. I'm personally from Bebbington. On the Wirral. I don't live there anymore, but I used to. <coughs> there you go, Airbus fan. Happy with the quality now. There you go. Welcome. To 2022. And Tony just saying a massive shout out to John Gresty, mm. uh, who loves watching our show on a Sunday. And he also makes um, beehives for a man, he's a Manchester beekeeper as well. Uh, so he loves watching our show. Glad you're enjoying the stream, mate. Really appreciate that. Let's see what Liz has seen in the car park. Oh, no way. <laughs> Didn't think he streamed on a Sunday. Oh, no way. <laughs> Roger Jet 2 ordered the 737 Max. Uh, be kind of cool. I'm kind of set on the Jet 2 A321 Neos. I think they'll be pretty delicious, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. If they do them in the in a, the dot com livery as well. That would be really nice. Cheers, Mr. Cash. Glad you're enjoying the stream, dude. Andy saying quality is good. I can almost taste the chips. Jake Jackson said, I stayed in Bebbington for a while while working for Northwest Water. Big white pub facing the river. Eh? <laughs> 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 There's no rivers in Bebbington. Marcus, welcome, dude. Uh, tuning in from Denmark. Are you thinking of... I don't know what it's called. Is it... Uh, the sea. The st well, the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was it the River Mersey that you were thinking of? And that's you're thinking of New Ferry or Rock Ferry area? I don't know. Whatever. Moonwolf tuning in from Melbourne. Your most distant viewer? Question mark. I'm not sure on that. I mean, we have a lot of people watching from Australia and New Zealand. I think New Zealand would be fair, but wouldn't you think? But uh, you're definitely in in contention. Maybe you're the most distant viewer right now. 
it is always interesting with this because we always start with a lot of Australian viewers and they're all going to bed. Then we get the UK viewers and then we always get American viewers waking yeah. up now as well. If you are enjoying the show, guys, don't forget to click subscribe and like. Like is super important, especially as other channels start to come online and and obviously uh, compete for that viewership. It uh, really does help us out to uh, keep, uh, click that like button and keep the viewers in the channel. Andrew Holworth, thanks for another £10 super chat saying, uh, just joined the stream after cleaning um, all morning. Get some chips and coffee for a great stream. Thanks for your dedication. Thank you very much, Andrew. It's very kind, mate. Nice one. Really appreciate the support. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat, guys. Yeah, I think it's become a regular thing now that that a certain or other channels do clash with us on on Sundays. I think it's just to be expected now um, that we will have some competition on the Sunday show. I think on and any show that Airline is live does now. There there is at least two channels that intentionally go live at the same time. <laughs> So, ladies and gents, if you do enjoy Airliners Live, then just make sure you stick in the channel and yeah, show are, your support. There are channels we talk to and, and love and respect, and um, then there are other channels. <laughs> <laughs> I might be very, a, very politically. I, might, I, might, I was going to say, I might be diplomatic enough there with that answer. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. So it's vague. It's just odd when you notice a pattern of channels never streaming on that day and then all of a sudden what? streaming every time every week on that day yeah. and then all of a sudden you then stream on the other day that we go live every week as well it's like it then becomes obvious right do you know what i mean what it what's happening but well, that is how it is that is the nature of competition ladies and gents which is why we pulled out all the stops to bring you the very best quality that we can do of course why would you want to go anywhere else and just pushing back is the version atlantic a330 uh, bound for islamabad nice uh, so we'll be seeing that very shortly uh, the aircraft's 11 years old um and that is a flight of um 3820 miles ladies nice. and gents islamabad yes that was a route that was previously run by PIA, wasn't it? Mm. And uh, obviously they... What time do these streams normally start? About 10 a.m. usually. Yes. Cheers, happy cook. Yeah, we, we say we start at half 10 in the morning, but to be honest, I'm quite happy with... Uh, a 10 a 10 a.m. start to be honest yeah I've uh, I've enjoyed it we actually got set up really quick today as well to be fair like literally, yeah. I know you were running a bit late but we were still set up I've kind of got all this kind of down to a yeah nice sort of organized self so it's just click 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 boom yeah. done yeah no, Chris that's... Carden how do I go VIP Chris uh, you need to click the dollar symbol then click join um, if that's not there for you, Chris, one of the moderators will put a link for you in the chat, which will be youtube.com forward slash airliners live forward slash join. Uh, so just keep an eye open for that, Chris, if you can't see the dollar symbol. There you go. Laurie's just used the command for you. So if you follow the instructions there, um, if we can get a link in the chat as well, guys, it'd be uh, helpful for that. How did I know that was going to be the uh, Airlingus A321? I think it's because it was a an Airbus icon in Terminal 2 you know like a little one mm. I don't think you get any other planes like that I can't even I can't navigate this phone it's exactly the same gesture as it your just, it just feels different I don't know what it is is that a Jet 2 I'm guessing it is uh, inbound from Grenoble um, where is Grenoble actually I wonder <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a skiing resort doesn't it yeah it does doesn't it <laughs> Nice. So when you when you zoom out, it okay. Nice, dude. Oh, I was I was just gonna say, you just click on the uh, click on the destination. Yeah, you click on that. So we click on it, and it'll just show you the the airport. One point five thousand likes. Thank you, Welshy, for the update. And cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Can we hit two thousand likes before the end of today's show? That's a bit of a challenge for us, ladies and gents. France. Ah, there we go. Looks well, like a very mountainous region, doesn't it? It so. does, doesn't it? Oh yeah, look at that, right in the south of France. <laughs> Naughty. Some skis on this plane. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we've also got an aircraft there who's inbound from Dublin. I knew, I, I knew I'd regret not bringing my camera today. Ah, uh, rip. 
Ripperoonies. Wounded. We got a special Air Lingus on the way in, ladies and gentlemen, in the Irish rugby team livery. We got a video clip of this at least. We'll be seeing that very shortly, ladies and gents. How do you get that taxi airside? You're talking about the the BMW you're seeing right here. It's a service that Premier offer, which is a um, one of the private terminals here that you can pay a little fee to to use if you've got a, a commercial flight going out of Manchester. Yeah, and uh, they apparently chauffeur you maybe with. Certain tiers, they'll chauffeur you to your flight. So if you've got, okay. if you've got a Ryanair flight, you can get a chauffeur to the, to the steps of the plane. Sarah's tuning in now whilst on a lunch break at work. Welcome, Sarah. Hope we're some kind of entertainment to you. Let us know what you're having for lunch. Cheers, Matt, for putting the, the VIP link. You can see Matt Smith has just posted the VIP link in the chat, guys, if you would like to sign up to the channel. If you want to support us with a one-off donation as well, you can do by clicking the dollar symbol, then clicking Super Chat. Uh, that's another great way of supporting the channel. Guys over on Twitch, you know what to do. You've been there long enough. Uh, it's Twitch Primes. Check those Primes. And uh, Euler Check in the Twitch channel. Any Euler. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good point, though. That, that BM's been there for a long time. It hasn't been moved. I don't even think it's been started for a while. So, you know... Why not put it to use? You know, I, my car <laughs> is not the best car, you know, and I could definitely have a lot of fun with that thing. Oh, yeah? You know, I, I promise I won't crash it or anything. <laughs> you know, and I'll give it back with petrol in, you know. So if anyone knows anyone who, who can sort me out, then, uh, you know, <laughs> contact the Airliners Live. Before the Airliners Live BMW sponsorship. <laughs> oh, yes. Mate, that would be a naughty sponsorship. Yeah. I am a fan of BMs, you know. I'm a fan of BMs on a sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> if they pay me to do it. <laughs> if they pay me to be a fan, then yeah. Sarah saying had a um, sausage and bacon with mushroom on a tea cake. That is a mixture and a half, that Sarah. But as long as you enjoyed it, each to their own, I suppose. I'll let you off with that one. Very dry, yeah. cold day here at Manchester Airport. No spray on the runway. Andy Eason saying, is that sawn, that BMW? <laughs> Could well be. It's not been moved for that Does one. Does anyone want to do an MOT check on it? <laughs> I mean, do they need MOT for, for not being on the road? I don't know. Yeah, I would actually love to know, to be honest. Whoa, I'll tell you what, my right knee needs uh, one of those bands around it, I think. Ah, a new knee. Need a new knee on the right knee. There's the Alingus on the taxi out as well. Hotel X-ray on the registration there of the Jet 737-800. Making a great noise on the taxi. And yes, we've got the Air Lingus A321 Neo, the long-range Neo version. On its way to, I believe, JFK, right? Uh, Darius Z, uh, I don't know what you mean, dude. The quality is exactly the same. You may want to check your YouTube settings. Yeah, dude. Check your YouTube settings, mate. The quality has not changed on the channel. Oh, uh, yeah, good good point vision time. thing. Yeah, good point vision thing. It's a 21 plate, so it doesn't need an MOT. Aha, aha. What? Oh, yeah, because you don't, you don't MOT for the first three years, yeah, do three you? Yeah, three years, yeah. Lucky sods. What year is mine? I don't even know. 20... 1993. <laughs> feels like it. <laughs> Still going strong though, I'll tell you that. Touch wood. <laughs> Drove down to London in it the other day. Worked fine. Well, try buying a Ford car. I used to have a Ford and it broke. And I think yours did as well, didn't it, Martin? Uh, yeah, but I think that was more my fault. 
Was it? Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't know that you had to change your timing belt after 60,000 miles. And when I went for my MOTs, they never told me that I also had to change it and never said, oh, by the way, it's due to be changed. Ah. Um, and it snapped and destroyed my engine. My power steering exploded on it. And it was just too much of an expensive job to fix. Mm. That was fun. So Very well, thank you, Carl. Glad you're enjoying the uh, picture, mate. Uh, Tracy Roof, uh, I'm afraid that's going to be your end as well. That's that's something your end. That's nothing to do with the channel, I'm afraid. If you're not getting a good picture, guys, and make sure you're in 1080p. If you are in 1080p, then I'd probably do a speed test on your internet. Logan Air and Brea uh, departing there with the the naked Logan Air, we like to call it, and also we got five percent on the old battery. Isn't it? Yeah, seeing that, might just get it. Should we do it now before this three thirty goes? Um, we'll get this this aircraft coming in. I think we'll get it before the yeah we'll get it before the three thirty goes. Needs to do a battery swap soon, ladies and gents. So we will sort that. We've got a Virgin Atlantic A three thirty. Doing a flight control check at the moment, you can see on the right wing there. Carl, thanks very much for the 449 super chat, no message, bing bong. Cheers, Carl. Cheers, Carl. Uh, oh, there we go. He says, get a cup of boys, he says. Thank you, Carl. We will do, mate. Really appreciate that. And here is the Aer Lingus special. And Martin hasn't got his camera with him. Because it's left on the floor with my jumper because I was late this morning. <laughs> nice, dude. I think it's the second time this has come in and I didn't have my camera with me now. If you brought your camera, though, it wouldn't have showed up. Yeah. Would have been a different play. That's just how it is, isn't it? It's got a nice recording of this, guys. Lovely livery. I love this. So intricate. Is it, is it a rugby special, I think it is? It is, yeah. Irish rugby team. Trouble on the Air Linguses. Air Lingus I. If Air Lingus UK, A321 Neo just departing there in the background. Off to JFK. And also got this Air Lingus A320 in the Ireland uh, rugby team special. Bearcat uh, racing. Stick with airliners live, mate. You won't be uh, you won't be disappointed, dude. Do you want to grab uh, another battery yep. if, if there's one there? Okay. We'll, catch, we'll swap the battery and then we'll catch this Virgin Atlantic 330, which is just going around the roundabout now, as we like to say. And we'll be back in hopefully about 10 seconds. So don't go anywhere. Use this time to hit the like button. Don't go anywhere. If you haven't already. <laughs> right, here we go. Look at that BMW. Oof. Did you have you brought the charger with you as well? Or I don't know if I've got one. Maybe I How didn't. I didn't take them out because I've I've got one at home. Okay, so yeah, it should still be yeah, in the okay, bag. Cool. If not, we can meet up in Monday, Tuesday, or something. We're back. Out. We are back. Hot swap. That was a hot swap. A three thirty out next. Yep. Virgin Atlantic A three thirty off to Islamabad. Well, there's that 
photo you put in the mod chat looks pretty swanky. That is a posh breakfast, aren't <laughs> you? It's so basic. It's just like some fruit, a, cro a croissant, and a uh, and a tea, and it just it makes it look very nice because it's on a plane. Nine seconds, says David King on that one. Back up to the standard, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just need a bit of training, <laughs> a bit of re refresh a lesson, and then it's good. Don't forget, guys, we're trying to hit 2,000 likes before the end of the show. If you would like to do that and you've not liked the uh, channel yet, go ahead and click the thumbs up. It really does help us out. Mods keep us up to date on the old uh, number we're on now. Yep. There goes the 330. Enjoy this, guys. This is sound great. Welcome, Mega Mercedes. Awesome username, dude. I saw that you were saying um, you can't get the tower next to your name. I know you sent a super chat into the channel, but to get the tower badge, you need to be a VIP supporter, mate. Yeah. So you need to do that by clicking the dollar symbol, then clicking join. Uh, super chats don't give you the tower badge. You need to be a monthly supporter of the channel, uh, and you can do that by uh, yeah clicking the uh, dollar symbol, then clicking join. Some random name on Twitch. Thank you very much for your Twitch Prime. Really appreciate you, dude. Thank you very much. Yeah, so you need to be a VIP, mate. Really do appreciate your Super Chat, though, as well. Thank you very much. It's a nice car, that, isn't it? Look at the two exhausts at the back. But I can uh, do some speed. Are we acting as, like, CCTV for this BMW now? We I think really we are. are. Yeah. If anyone touches it. We'll know about it. We will. We'll have the footage, 4K. If you're using the YouTube app, you won't see the join button. You have to be using a browser. You press the dollar you symbol. You press the dollar symbol first, Hugo. Yeah. So press the dollar symbol and then it's in there. Yes, Ian, the camera does have a manual focus option, but that would be well too much work um, to do for four hours. <laughs> yeah, I see people recommending that. I'm like, why? <laughs> I guess, like, catching a fence on the focus is a bit annoying, but... Imagine all else, guys. Like, this camera will track the aircraft at any zoom range. It would be much worse off if we were trying to manually focus the whole day, I think. What are you all about? It doesn't work in the app. I don't know what you're all talking about. We're saying you need a URL to, in a browser. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Let me look at this. Uh, guys, I'm sure it's just... It might not work because I'm... Uh... Either way, you can just use the link that Matt's put. Yeah, guys, you, I'm, I've literally just done it now. You, you're in the chat. You click, you've click. you got the smiley face, chat public as your name. And then a dollar symbol. You click the dollar symbol. There's three options. Show support for Airliners Live. Super ch sticker. Super chat. And membership. Join for members only access to this channel. And then you just um, you just choose your class and join. Yeah, It's working for me, guys. I don't know uh, what you guys mean. I mean, check on the iPhone as well. We've got an iPhone here. Let me check that. Yeah, it's... Maybe it's an iPhone thing. Um... I mean, an iPhone thing would make sense if it's uh, if it's Apple just trying to 
have a dig at Google, maybe. You go say it's only in a browser that says this. I don't think you dollar go. symbol. Strange. Actually, there is no join button on Apple. Interesting. Okay, well that's something to. Guys who are saying that, are you guys using Apple devices? It's an iOS thing then. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then in which case we need to. Um, it's not. It's not under. If you press the cross. What? That's dumb, isn't it? Not even there. Well, there you go. Okay, so in which case mods... We could probably put it in the description, you know, that link. Yeah, we idea. may need to make some adjustments then. Thanks yeah. for pointing that out, guys. Apologies, we didn't necessarily believe you straight away. Right, okay, so we need to work on that then, don't we? Yeah, thanks, YouTube. Well, that's, I don't think that's YouTube. I think that's an a Apple thing, I'll be honest. Maybe. Sounds like an Apple thing to do. Matt Smith, if you uh, has put the link, though. If you want to join, you can just hit that link. And that'll set you up. That will work. I'm on the iPad and it works fine. It's weird how it's working for some people and not for others. Yeah, very strange. John, do you have the join option, mate, um, in the dollar menu on the app? Waiting for the link to join, guys, says Terry. Um, mods, I give you a quick permission to spam the chat with the VIP link, guys. <laughs> Just spam the chat with it. Um, if you do want to support the channel, then uh, that's the best way to do it. Yeah, exactly, Chilly Willies. Nice to see you, mate, as well. Hope you're doing well. Chilly Willies, that sounds like us. <laughs> we definitely have got Chilly Willies. Get cold here, guys. <laughs> Got some aircraft down at the start of the runway. Uh, a British Airways something or another. I didn't actually see what it was. Maybe an A320. There you go, guys. The mods are spamming the join link in the chat. If you are not a VIP and you want to be, click that link, ladies and gents, over on the YouTube channel. That is the link to click. The moderators have just spammed the channel with it. There's your chance. I'm really not, really not warm today. I don't know what's going on. Like I've got my thermals on today and everything. Ah, I got you, chilly. Got you, mate. What temperature is it? It's probably about five degrees, is it? Four, it is. Okay. Etihad is now on the taxi out. Nice. So the Emirates is allegedly due out in 10 minutes, but... Usually it's been going out about half past one recently, so... We're into about the last 45 minutes of today's show, guys. Hope you've enjoyed uh, the stream today. Plenty more aviation action to come. Yeah, I moved from iPhone to Android a couple of years ago. Quite happy with the decision. Yeah, I've been on Android for about 10 years... And recently, I just got the iPhone 13 Pro. Yeah. Um, so we've got. I've got two phones that I kind of flick between. I, I didn't get rid of my Android, um, but yeah, I'm enjoying the iPhone for most things. But like you say, there are some little quirks and things which definitely do make things a little bit difficult. Yeah. The main one for me was like file management and, and stuff. Yeah. British Airways A320 up in the air already. Not waiting around. Scott Rock, good morning to you. And Carl Robinson, thank you very much for upgrading your membership to first class. Cheers. Very generous, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Laurie, I hate it when the stream is over. Especially worse on Sundays because we're not live again. We might be doing a, a midweek show this week. We will keep you posted about that. Yeah. I do fancy it. 
especially when they've been like the last week of the month, they might as well go out with a big bang. Um, so we'll let you know. I'm feeling maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll just see how the weather is and how the traffic is, of course, at Manchester. And then obviously we'll be live on Friday and Sunday as we usually are. And there he is, Carl Yorosil with the business class VIP. There's your tower badge, mate. Bing hey. bong to you, Carl. Thanks for the support, my mate. Welcome, dude. Hope you enjoy your stay. Here yeah, as an airliner's live VIP. Lots of VIPs coming through now. Yeah, love it. Legends. There he is, Carl. Nice one, dude. Well done, mate. Thanks for supporting the channel, guys. Thank you so much. A lot of people asking when we're going to be back at Barton again. I am looking forward to a Barton show. I really do miss it. Yeah. Um, so that may be one for the midweek. We'll see. Um, we will uh, have a look and see what's going on down there. Yes. and I can just see the Etihad taxiing out over there. So we'll see that in shot very soon. The Etihad Dreamliner. It's just a default livery today. No specials today, actually. Interesting. Usually there's one. Although we did have the uh, Lingus A320 Irish rugby team special just coming in before. Yeah. Looked really nice. Kevin with a message in the chat saying, Hi Andy and Martin. I knew you were live, but I couldn't stay anyway. Uh, it was a quick visit to the Tash shop. I'll have a coffee with you next time. Cheers, Kevin D. There he is, Kevin D. Mate, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to you, dude. Um, yeah, that's huge. I didn't actually open the receipt while you were with us, and, and if I did, I would have uh, definitely shut you on for that one, mate. Thank you very much. That's a huge uh, donation. Obviously, we'll uh, we'll store that until September for uh, the charity stream. Uh, it was You donated that for the charity stream, right, just to be clear. Um, if that's the case, obviously, we will uh, go and pick that up and, and put it to one side for the charity show, mate. Thank you very much, dude. But yeah, let us know when you're next up. Ideally on, on a Friday or Sunday, and we'll definitely have a coffee with you or something. And yeah, hundred percent, mate. That's very generous. Huge, huge uh, support of the channel, dude. Thank you yeah. very much, Kevin. Really appreciate you too. It's got some uh, airliners live love arts in the chat for Kevin's uh, early donation to the channel of a one or two hundred Emirates A380 model from Gemini Jets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a <clears throat> model that actually me and Martin have, and it's really really good <laughs> really yeah. good quality Mike Flynn thank you very much for upgrading your membership to business class as well Mike cheers dude enjoy those extra benefits and uh, Kalani Ku saying uh, good morning from Hawaii um, aloha to you it's always nice uh, to see you guys when I can't sleep at 3.05 a.m. wow that's early welcome wow. mate uh, and and um Kevin just confirming yes it's for the charity stream Roger Dodger no worries mate and there you go first prize donation coming in the stream is usually in September guys yeah where we try and raise as much uh, money as possible for charity yeah and um, we haven't even spoke about it yet this well, year well actually I had a call um, on the way home from Chester actually um, with uh, Macmillan ladies right. and gents um, and I wasn't planning on discussing this today, but uh, we are planning on the channel uh, to be a long-term supporter of Macmillan Cancer Support, ladies and gents. Obviously, as you know, they came in and helped us at the last minute on the last charity stream. We've supported them for a couple of years previously. They're always super helpful. They really appreciate everything we do on Airliners Live. John is absolutely fantastic as well. He's a great ambassador for Macmillan. Um, and um, we had a bit of a discussion myself and Andy and Mrs. Airline is live about the importance of cancer research and what Macmillan do for everyone and we've decided guys that we would like to support Macmillan as one of our charity choices uh, the mod choice um, for at least the next few years moving forward guys so there's a sort of um, how would you say um, a partnership of sorts to go on there guys uh, we plan to support Macmillan moving forward and then what we would like to do for the second charity is find like a, a nice local charity a smaller charity that we can support um, 
moving forward um, to work alongside Macmillan on each on each yeah. year. So I like using it to raise awareness for these charities as well. Like yeah. not necessarily just raising money, but also letting them have a message to our audience. You know? I think that's why it's cool to have Macmillan. We know they're a nice big charity. They really do some fantastic work, and then that frees us up to then look for the small individual community yeah. charities that are really making a big difference in the community and maybe like some aviation charities as well yeah yeah um, and Macmillan's very close to our hearts here on the channel as well obviously yeah. your family and yeah. obviously we had uh, Elena's Live uh, Julie as well yeah so I'd, I'm super proud to unofficially partner with uh, Macmillan on, on our charity shows guys and I hope you um, agree with that sentiment as well Beastie, thank you very much for upgrading your membership to business class as well. A few people going in with the old upgrades. I know, guys. what's going on, dudes? Thank you very much. I totally agree, saying uh, everyone there. So, yeah, that wasn't something we were actually going to announce today, but, um, yeah, that was the discussion I had uh, with John, actually. Did you read that? Um, I just read that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing, Ian. That's, that's our plan, mate. Yeah. I'm quite happy with the style. Like we always watch our streams back and make sure that we're not too much or yeah, yeah. No, this this is our live, mate. So yeah, there you go. A little uh, unplanned announcement, guys. That for at least the next uh, two or three years, we plan to uh, support Macmillan as our presenter choice um proudly moving so moving forward yeah proudly so so uh, there you go guys a little, little announcement john if you're watching i apologize if i've announced that a little bit too soon but there you go it is what it is that showbiz as they say we obviously <laughs> haven't even uh, really looked into the other charity for this year it's a long way away yeah uh, but it does come up fast doesn't it you know especially as summer pr summer happens you know you've only got a few months then to get it all organized and ready yeah Last year we made raised a ridiculous amount. Oh, it was like seven and a half grand. God, or something. Yeah, absolutely crazy amount of money we raised. So I mean, we were saying like, although every year we've tried to expand on it and build on it, I think now we're at the point where it's like a, a, a that's large, hard. yeah, yeah, that's a really big amount of money, and to, to try and beat that is kind of getting a bit more unrealistic. And also, we're also very happy with that amount as well. So if we match that this year, that'd be good. Yeah, I mean, if if we beat it, you know. <laughs> Not going to complain. Look at that fluff in the engines right there. Uh, that'd be too difficult to administrate while she mate, I'm afraid. It'd be well too difficult. I appreciate the sentiment though. Oh, look at the wing fl fluff on them. Uh, big flexi wings. Looking awesome. Hey, Flying Architect. Nice to see you, mate. Hope you've been enjoying your flying recently. Oh, yeah. I've been seeing your photos. Looking really good, dude. We'll have to come up one day and get some videos for you. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, what was I going to say? Also, this year, I think we might be experimenting with uh, YouTube giving, which is YouTube's... I believe it takes no commission and all that good stuff, and it's basically integrated with YouTube, uh, a fundraising platform. So, obviously, we usually use Virgin Money Giving. Yeah, they, they don't exist anymore, I'm afraid. They're not. Well, well if they do, they're not, they're not accepting new pages anymore. That was basically what the discussion with John was on the way back to Chester, is just arranging a time where we can get together and, and look at the best platform to, yeah. to handle the show. And, and that's the thing I love about um, Macmillan and John, is, is he's like, look, anything you need from me, give me a shout, let's try and find a solution together, and yep. that's, that's awesome, yeah, so it's really helpful. With um, YouTube giving, it kind of integrates with YouTube, I think it gives you like alerts and stuff in the chat when people donate, so it's okay. a bit more, because, you know, with Virgin Money Giving and stuff, it's kind of, because there's no API. We, we just have to make sure, the only thing is, and, and this is the limitation that I've found with a few platforms, okay. is because we're splitting the funds between two charities, uh, okay. yeah. it, it's, that's what makes it difficult. There's right. a lot of places that will accept um, one charity, Yeah. Okay. Got you. but then to split it between two is difficult. Now, 
we could just literally just go 100% Macmillan Cancer Support. Like, that is genuinely an yeah, option. Maybe. But I do like supporting a smaller charity as well alongside yeah, that. Yeah. So it's, I'm not sure, guys. We, we have to find a solution, definitely. We'll look into it. We've got, we've, got, we've got time. Yeah, if YouTube did that, I don't think they'd do, though. I don't know. They might do. There might be a way. Well, yeah, we've uh, done... How many charity live streams have we done? Have four? Four, I think. Four. Yeah. And four. We've raised... Well, we're getting close to 20,000 for charity yeah, surely now ridiculous it's insane what our community can do yeah and um, I think like you say last year was a huge total over 7,500 pound raised for charity and I think that's kind of our, our top level I don't think we'd beat that again so I don't think this year we're going to put a total that's higher than that I'd probably put a total of 6 grand as a, as a goal still and a then lot anything that, above it? that would be um, would be a, a, a bonus so 6,000 is still a lot yeah <laughs> it's a big ask it certainly is it certainly is I'm glad you're enjoying the show today guys no worries William nice to see you back mate and if you are enjoying the channel guys don't cut forget to click the thumbs up that really does help us out a lot yeah so for those of you who have joined us in the last few months um, yeah our, our charity live stream happens once a year usually in September so uh, that's when the fundraiser takes place here on the channel yeah we usually get loads of people involved loads of local businesses and loads of individuals who want to you know, maybe donate packages or experiences or yeah. anything like that. But anyway, it's, it's quite a while away, so we'll we won't talk too much about it. How's the weather for you guys? It's dry, which is a bonus for us. It's, the wind is pretty chilly. How much longer do you expect to be streaming for now? I'd say about half an hour. About half an hour, dude. Yeah, the 380 is officially late. <laughs> I'm There's getting a little bit peckish, and I almost admit so. Oh yeah. I'm. Uh, Definitely ready for a sausage butty, I think. You got your drink today, have you? I have. I uh, bring a, a nice flask. I've ran out of milk, actually. Oh, I need to grab some milk. Or just regular milk? Or no, the uh, the uh, oat, oat milk, o sorry. Oatly Barista is what I've been having, which is really nice, actually, in tea and coffee. Yeah, that is good. I'm Should do one for the Christie. Yeah, we've done the Christie before, actually. We have raised money for the Christie. Yeah. I just find with Macmillan, they're, they're, a, they're a lot more open to assist in the channel and they've got a lot more time to work with us which is, which is why we love working with them yeah does malaysian airlines fly here no no um is this channel the day job boys um we are proud to say andrew that as of november last year it is mate yeah it's our yep. full-time jobs now both of us very proud of that yeah we're just as busy now as we were when we were working yeah, full time and this and <laughs> as, as it should be but um, yeah. yeah five years in the making and we went full time in November so yeah we're both super stoked about that yeah yeah that was a I big, mean, what a can, big jump what can you ask for man like out here I know playing spot and bringing you guys content thousands of viewers that's just 10 out of 10 guys yeah we have a lot of respect for you guys a lot of respect for the job obviously this week's going to be a busy one for us got a lot of things going on yeah and I do want to try and get a midweek show in some squeeze one in but hey you know it is what it is if I squeeze one in I can always make time to do the office work around yeah we'll work it out <laughs> I've looked at Alpha 5 for a while I wonder if there's anything anything exciting going on yeah Mike Flynn we could definitely do that but I find that sort of thing would be I, I think the way I see it, and when something's a pain for people to do, people just won't do it. So I like the fact that it's just one link, everything's there, mm. that's how you do it. And um, yeah, I want to find a solution that's like that, ideally. Yeah, people can be quite lazy. <laughs> well, it's just, it's just human nature, isn't it? If something's difficult to do or a pain, most people just won't do it. Yeah, that's it. And especially when we're trying to raise money for charity, we want to make that as seamless as possible. And obviously, the other bonus was the um, the other bonus was the um, uh, gift aid as well, which I want to make sure gift aid is included as well in whatever we choose. Yeah, gift aid's huge. 
when you, when you got thousands of pounds coming in. Yeah, A380 is now pinging, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, we've got Ryan there, it looks like, coming in. A 737 with some beautiful ribbons going off it. Thess, uh, Thess Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki, there you Thessaloniki, go. Try yeah. saying that with your teeth in backwards. I only know that because of Liz. There you go. Well, I can't say it. Yeah, I, I tried to pronounce it. Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki. I can't. Thessaloniki. Isn't yeah. that in, that's in Crete, isn't it, I think? Okay. Thessaloniki. It sounds, uh, it sounds like it would be that part of the world. Beautiful island. Really, really pretty. It's on my bucket list for this year, actually. Crete. Who's that? Is that us? Is that me? Oh, you? Oh, someone in the chat. Who in the chat's got a phone call? Who's it? Hey. I never have my phone on loud, you know. It's always on a... Um, vibrate. Vibrate, yeah. yeah. I know. It just... It kind of, like, stresses me out having it on loud. I don't know why. <laughs> Tanya saying it's wet here in Sydney, Australia. What, in, in the sea? <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. Don't talk to me about wet until you've lived in Manchester. <laughs> you have one day of rain and then it's 30 degrees for the next three months. Mm -hmm. It's wet here. Having Get out of it. Having barbecues every day. You know what I mean? Enjoying lovely sunsets and all that, you know? <laughs> Cheers, Darren. Have a good weekend, mate. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Say that after three Westerns, Matty. That's, that's, that's an all <laughs> I still can't say it. Because Liz work, worked at the airport. She used to hear all the announcements for all these airports. So she learns how to say them all. Yeah. Hey, pal, you all right? Yeah, no worries. There's plenty of time for that, uh, David. Etihad, Manchester to Abu Dhabi is now, uh, to Dubai, sorry, is uh, second most tracked on flight radar. Ah. Is that something to do with the channel? Maybe. It was like when it did that go around the other week. Yeah. And it was just immediately the most tracked thing on flight radar. We're going to wave there from the captain. There are boys. Love to see it. There's also another aircraft on approach. Uh, yeah, it's an EasyJet inbound from uh, Sofia. A320 Neo. Nice. That left three hours ago. We love a Neo on this channel. Certainly do. It's almost like we've got an emote just for it. The Notorious Rob says, uh, I wish this channel was on all day here on Twitch. I love this. Aww. Cheers, dude. You guys seem to really enjoy it, hey? Yeah, it's uh, it's cool, man. It's it's cool that so many people tune in and love the channel. I like having a schedule as well. I like everyone kind of like looking forward to the show. And yeah, Sunday, everyone knows when to tune in. Sunday and Fridays, two big days. It does leave a bit of space in the in the midweek for another show. Just yeah. saying. It's just a shame that Manchester's not that busy because it's just. I mean, hard. when Manchester's busier, then then obviously we can look at doing yeah. more shows. The evening shows could return; they were great. Yeah, used to do shows in the evening in the summer when we had longer days, and they would be great to return. Lovely evening lighting, different traffic. I wonder when the RVP starts opening late again. That was awesome. Yeah, got a long way to wait still. A few months. Obviously, it's just daylight now. It goes dark at like just after four. So, yeah, you know, they they shot by four. Uh, back in the eighties, when I used to visit, there was only one runway, and it was two four zero six. Oh yeah. Did they rebuild it? No, it's just as the uh, the <laughs> magnetics change, isn't it? So Imagine they tore up the whole runway and moved it one degree. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, sorry, it's going ten degrees, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's Happy Xylophone. Oh, ha no, it's not. Happy Xylophone would be... Yeah, it would be a Dex. <laughs> no, it's Paul. Hope you're doing well, mate. Is it Hotel X-Ray? Yeah, it is. Happy Xylophone. 
was her name. Another wave. Hey, there's the boys. What do you do one day if one of these names that we give the EasyJet aircraft was yeah. on the side of the plane? <laughs> We've spoken about that before, yeah, maybe one day. Anyone from EasyJet, if you're watching, you don't have to commit to the uh, flying toilet, we'll let you get off that one. <laughs> but if you would like to put Appy's Xylophone or one of the other names we give your <laughs> aircraft here on the channel on the side of the plane, contact at airlinersline.com. <laughs> we haven't seen the flying toilet for a while, have we? Whiskey Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a few silly names for them. Also, we've got a runway inspection uh, in progress at the moment. Cheers, Peter. Glad you love the quality of the channel, mate. We don't give out models, unfortunately, mate, but uh, we use Sony equipment on the channel. One of my favourites is uh, Lima Juliet, which is lovely jubbly. <laughs> hey, now that's a, that's a good <laughs> it's one. It's a good one. That's that, a good it? one. It's one of our favourite names. So for those who don't know, EasyJet have uh, obviously their fleet of aircraft. And they generally identify them by the last two letters of the reg. So you see in their uh, hotel x-ray, and we usually give them names based on that. And we're open to name suggestions if anyone has any, any good ones. That one was called Happy Xylophone. Hey, for eight, he's going to be coming into view any second now. Hey. So we're just getting this uh, inspection done with. Make sure there's no uh, debris or any silly items on the runway that might cause a bit of a problem or any problems with the runway itself of course lighting or uh, basically in terms of the runway itself I guess where else going with that but if you are new to the premier live aviation channel which is airliners live ladies and gents make sure you click subscribe before we go offline today we'd really appreciate your company uh, on our future shows and uh, we really thank you for tuning in today. Lots of viewers, and uh, it's been a great show again today. Great to have Mr. B back from his jollies. Yeah, it's it good. Uh, it's good just to have a, a break of like doing, just enjoying nothing. So yeah. What is this? Where's this from? Uh, British Airways Embraer from uh, Chambry. Chambry. What? Is that a new route or is that just a, a one off? We'll catch that, guys, because that's not something you see every day. Yeah. What Molly's saying, really glad I found the channel. It's much better than the one I used to follow. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you, Molly. Welcome to the uh, community. Get yourself situated in the community, guys. If you are new, um, we do have a fantastic community here. Getting involved in the chat, you'll see a lot of regular names. Yeah. Uh, we always try and keep the chat really positive. Um, so it's a great place to spend your Sundays and Friday mornings. Um, so make sure if you are watching and you feel comfortable, get involved in the chat. Say hello. Don't be shy. People will give you a massive welcome. Uh, we promise you that on Airliners Live. Hit the like button, John Fares is saying. He's saying there's 300 to go, and I'm assuming that's till 2K. Yes, only 200 likes, 300 likes away from 2,000, ladies and gents, which is our goal for today. That'd be wonderful if we could hit 2,000 likes before the end of the show. Uh, oh, okay, the City Flyer is a charter for the ski, he says. Thank you, dude. Great to have Brown Bill back. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. Thank you. 1800 likes only 200 away now yes anyone who hasn't liked the stream yet please do on YouTube you may have to press the little X button to hide the chat to do that <laughs> here we go the king of the skies the A380 is now taxiing out that's what that is isn't it yeah it is okay there we go look at them you recognize them logos don't you on the two engines on this side. I do like this being like the big finale to our shows. Yeah, know? I do as well. Yeah. So it's very sweet. And obviously it looks like we are going to get this BA in before the 380's out, which is good. What a beast. The Emirates A380. Still flying twice daily into Manchester. And then also Emirates sending a third aircraft every day, which is a triple uh, seven, which uh, happens in the hours of darkness. So obviously, when the days get a bit longer, we'll be able to see them again. Yep. 
I can't wait. I can't wait for the days to get longer. The, the you know the temperatures to get warmer. Yeah, I reckon a nice ten degrees on top of the what we're at now would be <laughs> yeah. just a nice comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, mate, looking forward to when we're going to be streaming in our shorts. Yeah, it, it kind of just feels weird at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. Wearing a t-shirt or whatever. All <laughs> rise for the king of the skies. Yes, Laurie. The lingo is on point. He really has a beauty. The mound getting really busy now, as it always does. It when certainly does, doesn't it, for the 380. Yeah. It's a real spectacle. People travel from far and wide to see this. Understandably so. Yeah, I do slightly miss the... I mean, we we'll still get the 777 from Qatar. Yeah. Now, rumours that Qatar may be upgrading to an A380 here at Manchester in the coming months. Should rename the, the BMW either G Sawn or G Flat. <laughs> <laughs> I like G Sawn. Or G Still. Yeah. There we go, the British Airways City Flyer. I don't usually see these. They only really exclusively ever bring the A320 family. Tony Parkinson, thanks for the 380 super chat, bing bong. He said, let's go in the chat. Thank you very much, dude, for the support. What could that right. What could that donation be for, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Paul saying, I've just arrived from Dallas, Texas to check it out. Welcome, Paul. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the content moving forward. What a crazy place to tune in from. Bit of a firm touchdown there, but he got it down. Yeah, Mike, maybe update your link with the one that John's using then, if that's the case. Nico Rosberg, nice to see you, mate. We seem to have quite the uh, the Texan community, don't we? We do. Kind of a cool catch. We don't usually see these here at Manchester, so something unique on today's show. A British Airways City Flyer and Brea. Oh my gosh. Yours hasn't updated yet. Hey. Oh, there he is. Sam and Roll with the Mega Bong 49.99, a super sticker. Sam and Roll, nice to see you again, mate. Crazy donator on one of our previous streams. Wow, thank you so much. Triggering that mega long. Thank you, dude. You're uh, tuning in just at the end of today's show. The A380 is on its way. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Great to see you back in the channel, dude. Thank you, mate, for that mega long donation. Got some mega bongs in the chat, guys. Huge, huge donator to the channel. Thank you so much. A nice sound from that aircraft. Doesn't sound too bad. Samson saying we got a wave as well. Oh, did we? Nice. I didn't see that. Thank Ooh. you, Sam and Roll. Really appreciate the support, dude. Triggering the mega bong right at the end of the show. The Emirates A380 just uh, almost at the start of 2-3 right. Coming in again with another 499 a super sticker bing bong. Thank you, Mega uh, Salmon Roll. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Mega Roll, should we call it from now on? <laughs> Hugo Basin with the 380 CHF as well, saying everyone waves to my Uncle James on the A380. There you go, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uncle James. Hope you have a good flight. Uh, Chambry, Hugo. Hope you all enjoyed today's show, the Sunday show here on LN is Live, which is our 
classic day of yes, the week. Is. Every Sunday, you know exactly what aviation channel to tune into on your Sunday morning here in the UK. Wherever you're tuning in from the world, we are live from around 10 a.m. UK time. I think we should make that a standard thing. I think 10 a.m. is quite a nice, nice starting time. Cheers, Millie. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the stream. So, you know, you guys do an excellent job specifically, uh, especially uh, always braving the weather. Thanks very much, Millie. Glad you're enjoying the show. 1.9 thousand likes. Come on. Can we hit 2,000? Come on, guys. We're nearly there. Only 100 likes away from 2K to wrap up today's show. All right. The Emirates A380 now lined up and ready for departure. He's already rolling. Thrust set. Cheers, Paul, for the five pounds. Super Chat saying great show again. I've flown on that A380. And Salmon Roll with a $19.99. Bing Bong saying this is donating for the A380. Salmon Roll, thank you, dude. <laughs> Cheers, Salmon Roll. Airways Budokar has also just called up for their clearance, so they'll be uh, departing in the next 20 minutes or so. What do I do? Do you want to wait around for that? You want to I, I don't mind, yeah. Yeah, I can do it. Guys, yay or nay in the chat, do we wait around for the Qatar? Yay or nay in the chat. I suppose that means we can wrap things up quite nicely at 2 o'clock. Salmon roll, the mega roll, salmon roll with the $19.99 super chat, bing bong. Goodbye, A380 says. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, dude. That's Huge sweet. supporter of the channel. Yeah, we might as well uh, wait until this guitar. Mass Exodus on the mound, by the way. Yay or nay for the guitar, guys. Oh, hang on. Stand by, ladies and gents. Okay. Hold on. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> It's very, very rare. It's been in once in five years. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not something that you, you you're never gonna know until a week before. Yeah. There's a page. There's a play, page on Facebook called Alpha Five. Uh, follow him. Yeah. All right. Poor Martin is starving. I am hungry, but uh, listen, it, I'll eat when we can. It's fine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sick of hearing you guys. Well, Lee that's... Davis says no. All right, guys. Right. Well, Lee Davis says no. So uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> 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 Lee's just jealous because he hasn't got that gold tail yet. That's what it is. We'll well, stick around. It's called for its clearance, so it's about 15, 20 minutes, we reckon, yeah. on that one. And now you'll see why we don't use the stream till this long, because... It does go quiet. <laughs> it does go pretty quiet. Let's have a look. We don't like streams being drawn out. But we do have a aircraft on final approach at the moment. We have a Jet 2 Flight uh, 43 Tango Lima, Boeing 737. That's now on final approach. Um, so we'll, we'll catch that touching down soon. Um, stereo sound isn't really something that would make much difference on this channel because the camera. Uh, the microphone is mounted to the camera, so you would never get that stereo pers uh, perspective with us. Um, no, no need, is it? Like, what you yeah, there's no, no massive benefit really for us to to go stay. I mean, 
Yeah, we're just summing down a mono mix um, for you guys. Um, you're broadcasting mono to save on bandwidth. That'd, that'd be a little, little life hack, wouldn't it? It would. Erica, thank you very much for your $1.99 super chat bing bong saying hello, hello, you wonderful folks. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Erica. Good afternoon to you from Manchester here in the United Kingdom. I think I'm definitely going to treat myself to a, uh, a TAS uh jacket yeah, yeah yeah after the stream today they are nice salmon roll with a 1999 super chat what? saying let's watch the great show everyone thank you dude we are extending the show today just to catch the qatar we might as well do saudi are coming that often anymore because no just, i don't just, see them very often i know I just maybe there's any specific days they fly were they on the Friday show? I don't think they were, were they? That's got some bing bongs in the chat for Salmon Roll, guys. Going crazy with the support today. Yeah, I appreciate that. A little bit chilly now is the problem. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of a shiver on. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't bring as many layers today. Cheers, Salmon Roll. saying that they've actually... It's called for its clearance, so... It's yeah. not like it's not on the way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you all watching the show today as well. Hope you've all enjoyed. Oh, there's a Virgin Atlantic pinging for JFK as well, actually, an A330. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. And here comes the Jetsu. It's in the holidays livery, it looks like. 737. Cheers, Mark. Glad you're enjoying the show, mate. Salmon roll again with another 1999 and super chat. What? Say, so come on, I'm from New York. It's only 20 Fahrenheit here, he says. <laughs> there you go, Gosh. he's in minus figures then, isn't he? After yeah, it's cold. I'll let you off. Look at the strobes on this. Thank you again, mate, supporting the channel. We love New York City. There you go. Mm. You went to New York. You went to Boston, didn't you? Went to Boston, yeah. Not went to New York. Oh. Definitely going to buy a uh, something for this knee, I think. I think what's happening is I'm putting a lot of weight on one knee and just kind of like resting as you stood up. Ah, uh, yeah. And when you do that for a few hours, I've noticed my right knee is always a bit of a pain on the show. As you're getting older as well, you've got to be, got to take care of them things. Yeah. Definitely going to grab myself a knee support, I think, for me right knee. Because I notice every week it's always my right knee as well. So subconsciously, I must just be like, just resting on that yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah, Because we do stand up for the full show, ladies and gentlemen, on Airliners Live. We're not sat here comfortably at all. Mm, it's definitely nice. something you notice as, a, as you do more shows. If the temperature was nice, that'd be really nice to sit down and stream. Yeah. Maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe on the south side sometime. Yeah. I've tried it once before and I find that you have to lean forward to operate the camera so yeah. it's not as comfortable as you imagine you need, like, unless right you need the camera at like the side of you somehow Because camping chairs and stuff, you always sit back in them don't you? Yeah, you do, yeah Not sit forwards Salmon roll with another $19.99 soup chat saying JFK is colder than Manchester Airport at the moment. Oh yeah, it gets cold over there in, in New York, doesn't it? It's it's really cold. Does. You're a madman, dude. Absolute madman supporting the channel. Yeah, look at the look at the, the train. We have got, got a salmon roll train on the go here at the minute. Stand by guys. Hi, I'm having an Andy. It is. Hi mate, you alright? Yeah, how are you? And the board, man. Nice to meet you, mate. You alright, mate? You good? Yeah. Buzzing. Long time since I've been up. Hey, where's the other mound gone? Oh, mate, that's long gone, that. Hell yeah. That's, that's, that's completely long gone. different up here, isn't it? Yeah, so you've not been here for a while, no, have it you? No, it is a while, mate. Three years, at least, that's been gone. <laughs> so, yeah, something like that, isn't it? it? Yeah. That's it. Probably end of 2018, I think. Yeah, definitely been uh, some changes around here since then. Not for the better, either. Nice to meet you, mate. And you, mate. Nice one. Oh. 
Yeah, a long time ago we were, we were streaming on those mounds back in the me and Charlie days. It have, was it two different mounds, wasn't it, they used to have at the yeah. RVP that were... That there was nowhere near as much space as there is now, to be fair, but they were... Uh, it was a much different setup. Salmon roll is on a roll, says well she can. <laughs> <laughs> really is. Huge thank you, Salmon Roll, for the for the uh, super chats. Don't yeah, you? that's really kind, dude. Yep. Laurie, do you recognise that name or something? <laughs> I do. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I've seen him in the chat a few times. Yeah, Jenny saying she remembers those days. What's that? Jenny Watts saying she remembers those days. Yeah. Do a show from Cyprus. Oh, yeah. Come on. I wouldn't mind doing a show from Lanzarote, you know, like low-key. I think that would be good. Because mm. the view you get that, and it gets really busy, that airport, sometimes. Like, they have queues for the, you know, to get on the runway sometimes. It's just like there's always something on approach or something pinging up. Hunter saying I'd love something like this on my doorstep. The nearest I've got is Teesside. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, okay. we're very lucky with uh, with Manchester. We are lucky. Manchester's probably one of the best in the world for spotting. Simon Roll says, I am on a roll. I was bored. <laughs> Listen, dude. <laughs> You're bored, so you just, just go crazy on the donations in our yeah. like, Listen, I mean, we, we really appreciate the support, man. Thank you a lot. If it entertains you, then be our guest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to do... Uh, <laughs> I'd love to do Lanzarote as a, as a live show. I think that's actually... Maybe something I can try and do this year. Maybe not when it gets too hot, you know, because I went in December and that was like decently warm and mm. a very good temperature to be outside. I just can't. It's quite a long flight, wasn't it? Say like four hours or four something. Four hours, yeah. So flew with Ryanair. It was very cheap. 2,000 likes <laughs> has now been achieved. Hey. Well done, guys. Thanks, Cheers, everyone. everyone. Paul's awesome. saying I'll do Lanzarote for you. <laughs> Come with Paul. Have a great time. It's that, like, yeah, because there's so many good spots at Lanzarote to spot from where you're over the fence. Like, obviously, you got the, um, there's like the beach where the aircraft fly over your head. Uh, and then if you just kind of wrap around clockwise around the airfield, you kind of go up a little hill. And then you're just above the, the fence the whole time. It's, it's mm. really good. Uh, it's all good, Anthony. It's all good, mate. It's, it's, uh, it's fine, dude. It's it's good to see the uh, the super chats coming through on YouTube, so we do like them to to come through on there. Yeah. But yeah, maybe it gives someone sort of a shout out for it as well. Yeah. It is just a lot of effort. You're streaming from a different country though, because there's just so much gear that we have, and we have to take it all. And yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sam and Roll saying, yeah, the super chat certainly gives you a bit more of a a thank you and a a recognition for the support. I'd say. Of course. So yeah, I think this year there, uh, I'd love to go to Madeira as well, just as like a an interesting one to get some video mm. content from. Um, and obviously uh, Skiathos as well, another another one that's high on my priority list. Not well, sure where the Virgin's gone. He, he was on frequency. He request a taxi on him and then. Uh, and then obviously Dublin as well. I think Dublin would be a, a fun little. Why would you show. want to do that, Mohammed? Let's try not to advertise other channels in the chat, please, mate. But well, thanks for tuning in. People be like that. Um, yeah, Dublin would be an interesting little side piece, I think, as a little, little, yeah. little entertaining other show. Need to do East Mids again at some point in the summer. Yeah, I'll which is definitely something we're looking forward to. Yeah, get soaked again. I mean, we've got some decent waterproofing now, so when we inevitably get soaked like we do on every trip, mm. whether it was Amsterdam ugh, <laughs> or Heathrow ugh, or East Mids, ugh. <laughs> we just seem to bring the rain with us and it lashes it down on us. Lee Simpson saying he's off to um, Skathos in May. Oh, nicely. Yo. Hope you have a good trip, mate. I don't think any of the budget airlines fly there. I think it's only, like, TUI, I think, is, like, the only airline you can fly from Manchester. Yeah. Maybe Jet 2, maybe? Another aircraft on approach. 
and Sam involved with another $19.99 super chat saying last donation I will donate on next Sunday thank you mate uh, also the airplane that flies right above your head is St. Martin and the Caribbean Islands there you go thank you very much Sam involved for the huge support this week mate yeah appreciate that thanks a lot for uh, your very generous it's support like of the channel in total, isn't it? oh yeah easy easy wow. thank you very much mate that's a very uh, very kind amount of donations Yes, it's an easy jet, a 320. Yeah, obviously the uh, super chats we do get on the channel do go to towards helping out the improvements on the channel. I mean, just the sound improvements alone, uh, we're over a thousand pounds of reinvestment into the channel, guys. So rest assured, we do reinvest heavily back into airliners live and we're not afraid to do so if we know it's going to improve the quality for you um so yeah super chat certainly help cover the cost of that guys it's a guitar pinging up yeah it isn't but then again the virgin's only just shown back up huh. Tango Golf on the registration on this. I don't think this has got a name, this one. Tango Golf. I think that's what it said anyway. Let's let's get confirmation on that first. Yeah. If it's not got a name, then I suppose we can name it now. See the reg there actually. Yeah, it's Tango Golf on the reg. What could it name what could it be called? Tango Golf. Any ideas in the chat? We need a name that has the letters, the initials, Tango Golf TG. The weather's no. What about Top Gun or Top Gear? Quite like Top Gun. Top Gun's cool because it's aviation. Yeah, let's go with Top Gun, guys. Top Gun. Let's see if there's any, any better ones in the chat. Tiger Girl says Yorkshire Spud. Tiger Girl. Woo! Away from the uh, BA captain there as well. Legend. I, I quite like Top Gun. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Top Gun's cool. <laughs> Tickly Gonads. Says <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Dolling will go for that one. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Top Gun, everyone says Top Gun's good. Too good. Top Gun is it, okay. There it is, it has officially been named on the channel. Someone tweet easy yet. Yeah. So come on guys. We need to start doing that, maybe if we start tweeting them and getting it in their heads that we're naming the, uh, <laughs> naming the, the aircraft, they'll, they'll start cottoning on. And yeah, let's add it to the list for Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I need to rename uh, Lima India because we just call that Liz's Instagram at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that might need a rename. Yeah. Uh. And then we may want to rename the uh, flying toilet as well. <laughs> That's a classic. That Beastie, one, thanks that for the 10 super chat saying great show again, guys. Cheers, Beastie. I appreciate you, mate. Thanks, Beastie. Uh, well, the flying toilet was the original. Yeah. It's not even a Neo, it's just an A320. So, what that guy's bubble at is a. Uh, that kid's Bob Lutz, uh messing with the focus, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Goose. The Grinch. A lot of people saying The Grinch. There we go. A little and, bit of fun. Uh, Gaffer Rob with the Twitch Prime sub, putting us to 169 subs on the channel. Cheers, Rob. Appreciate you, mate. I like how we have this goal of 200 and we started with 170 and now we're on 169. <laughs> yeah, when gift subs expire, it, uh, it ruins everything. We were on 250 at one point. Wow. Jeffrey, welcome to you. Tuning in uh, from Toronto. Welcome. I'm starting to regret this guitar extension. <laughs> it's still not taxiing yet. It's been 20 minutes. It's not even picking up. Might just have to call it a two, I think, because it's 
pretty dead at the moment. It is. Well, we have two aircraft taxiing out at the moment, which is good. At the Virgin 330. Mommy, shall we go uh, the there? Pegasus there. A320 Neo. And the new, uh, the Air Lingus Special is pinging. I'm not too fussed about seeing that again. No. We've already seen yeah. it up close. Okay, guys, I think we may wrap with this A330, guys, because I'm not sure what's going on with the Qatar, but it's been 20 minutes since they called for clearance, and they're still not uh, still not showing on the old uh, radar, guys. So let's wrap it up with this 330. Nice big blast off here to add in the channel. There we go, turn and burn. It's already on the roll. Hope you've enjoyed the stream today, ladies and gents. Hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification as to when we go live. Thank you for all the support today as well. Really do appreciate it. Let's crank this 330 departure. Here we go. There you go, ladies and uh, gents. That's going to wrap us up today. I think we need to go and get some food. Been uh, studying since about half nine. I'm getting a little bit peckish now. A little bit cold, mainly, for me. Daniela, a new subscriber to the channel. Welcome to you. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Laurie M saying thank you for another awesome show and my shiny new spanner. Yes, No enjoy worries, it. Laurie. Enjoy that. And uh, ladies and gents, you've been watching Airliners Live for the big Sunday show. There will be... A midweek show this week, weather depending. So keep an eye on the Facebook page and the YouTube community tab for updates on that. Um, G Crow is kind of making a little appearance on Premier to finish oh, the show let's, off. Let's do that. Um, which aircraft is the flying toilet? It's Golf Echo Zulu Whiskey Charlie. There you go. And you can probably see why. There we go. Let's get them. G Crow to finish the show. G Crow to finish the show. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. As always, we've been Airliners Live on your Sunday morning. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you all on the midweek show. Take care, guys. Hope you have a great week. So, for now. See you all soon. Bye-bye.